Okay. Come on, newcomer, follow me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to keep this filter. It does look good in battle, though. It's a cartoon shader. Whoa, that is dark and gross looking. This is maximum cell shading from an advanced cartoon shader. Notice the color being drowned out. Notice the text. You can't even read the text at this point. Okay, you ready? This is the storybook shader. I don't know what that thing is in the background. I don't know what any of this is. Wow. You get used to being so you used to be in soldier all right. Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier. Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Hold it, Jesse. He was in soldier. He quit them and now he's one of us. Didn't catch your name. Cloud. Cloud, huh? I'm I don't even care who your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell you all doing? I thought I told you to never move in a group. Our targets the North Mako reactor will meet on the bridge in front of it. Ex-soldier, huh? Don't trust you. If you push the directional bu- Wait, what? Did you already break the fourth wall, Barrett? I could probably get this to look a little bit better. I'll try not to... Oversaturate it with colors and cell shading and assholes. Cloud was the original emo. These graphics were stellar when we were in 1997. Like, fucking amazing. Yo, this your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinri, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture, let's just hurry. That's it, you're coming with me from now on. I will join with you. I will walk into you, and I will become you. Code Decipher. Code deciphered. Little by little, the reactors will drain out the, all the life. And that'll be that. It's not my problem. Planet's dying, Cloud! The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, merge. Push the OK button. Okay. Fourth wall. Broken. Firmly broken. I always wonder what the fuck is the deal with these guys? Like, let's assume that Shinra hires humans, you know, are they human? Why are they all, like, slunky? They, they look like Baldo from Soul Calibur, with, like, claw gun arms. Robo guards and junkies. <laughs> That's what- and gimps. Shinra hires only robo guards, junkies, and gimps. Junkies. You want me to do green? Look at these gradients. Oh, sick gradients, bro. It just looks like bright, like, assholes. When we blow this place, this ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Watch out! This isn't just a reactor! Who said that? Oh, oh, right. <laughs> it Barrett? Heads up! Here they come! It's a robo-gourd. Ah, oh, fuck! Barrett, be careful. Attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. <laughs> and the cloud disobeys his own advice and gets shot with a laser. Good job, cloud. You're a real brave guy. Y you know, and even if people bought it for me, it's we're, we're already playing it. We're good. I will definitely make this look as good as it can as soon as possible. Why did I attack Barrett? Oh, he's dead, that's why. Oh, come on, let's get out of here. Ten minutes to detonation. See? The menu looks a lot better, too. In fact, now the window is too goddamn dark. There's a bomb about to go off, and here I'm fucking around in menus. That's cool. Oh, yeah, I gotta fix the UI. Oh, what's that? I got nine minutes? Oh, that's alright. Explosions. There's gonna be a splode soon. My leg got stuck. Thanks. Just, just ninja hop over me, just like real life. But that's kind of what made this generation of RPGs charming. Like those dumb jumps. Now everything's like super, you know, realistic. Like Advent Children 
everyone's like got really like detailed models and they're like human sized. They're like flying through the air like Superman. At least they look like fucking like Popeye in this one, you know? Open the door. Someone in chat just said, how much you bet there's a nude texture for the girls in this game? Remember when Tomb Raider first came out and everyone was wondering where the nude code was? That was almost as legendary as the fucking Triforce in Ocarina of Time. Oh, there's a nude code where you can get La Laura Croft naked in Tomb Raider if you just enter the right code. Lura. Lura Croft. Popeye arms? Popeye arms. Popeye arms. I know how ridiculous that is, but it's it's important, goddammit, that we keep Popeye. seeing these cutscenes when I was a kid I was like what like how how did they do that how is the graphics so good that should keep the planet going at least a little longer yeah sick flips cloud this is so Popeye hey if it's about your money save it till we're back at the hideout High quality sound effects. Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only a gill. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Great. Got a flower now. Look at that dress. It's like segmented. Looks like mutton chops draped down from her posterior. Look at that. Look at that classic video games. That classic video games. Yeah, look at those arms. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of shit that blew us away when we were in 1997. Those little sparkles. Oh my god. The, the, the jizz was everywhere because of those, those fucking things. Hey, you there! Later. Halt! I don't have time to be messing around with you guys. Enough babbling, get him! And then what blows my mind is how many cutscenes still use Popeye arms. Like, they had the battle model, they had, you know, the, the H, the HD, the, the more high quality model. And then, you look at some of the cutscenes, it's like Popeye. Oh, oh. Cloud never came. I wonder if he was killed. No way! Cloud. That tip, like, traditional JRPG writing. Just the person's name with a ton of periods. Say, you don't think Cloud's... Going to fight to the end for Avalanche. Hell would I know. Do I look like a mind reader? Hm. If y'all weren't such screw-ups. Cloud, cloud, cloud. Looks like I'm a little late. You damn right you late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big deal. It's just what I always do. Shit. Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. I rubbed my nublet on your cheek and then walked through your arm. Everyone must exit the train like a ninja. That's written on the sign when you first get in here. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Look, you can see the surface now. City ain't got no day or night. If that place weren't there, we could see the sky. Floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. <laughs> Jez. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> oh, the writing in this game. <laughs> Jez. Fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. Pizza! And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. Then why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? Don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe because they love their land no matter how polluted it gets. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. Can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. You know, you gotta admit, Midgar is, is cool as fuck. It's like a shitty New York City before they cleaned it up. I love Barrett too. I love him. even though he's written with stereotypes and like jazz and all that stuff like shit. He's just so fun. He's like one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters just because of that. <laughs> Yo, 
Get over here, y'all, y'all. This mission was a success. But don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion, because the next one's going to be even bigger than that. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Not letting you go tonight. Wow. Look at that riveting NPC dialogue. Isn't there someone we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only the trade graveyard around here, and they say ghosts around, too. Damn. What? Like, who's even talking? Wow. You just full of surprise. You know, it's funny. I know I'm going to get complaints about the Barrett voice, even though that's how it's written. So please direct all your um, responses and complaints about my Barrett voice to my recycle bin. Courtesy of recycle bin at Windows.7. Konome says 99% of the people named Barrett Mr. T back in the day. Alright, speak up. Who here named their Barrett Mr. T? You can't pass. I've got this miserable job of keeping scum from like you from trying to sneak in here. Why is he English? Wow, you're great. Damn right. Don't waste time talking's what I always say. But, uh, I... What is this dialogue? This NPC dialogue is like... Ass. There actually are a few people in chat that named him Mr. T. <laughs> and then Red's... <laughs> I named him mine Richard. <laughs> why? Why did you name him Richard? What is happening over here? Is this a, this looks like sex. Did you hear? Don't care. Oh well, excuse me! Can I, can I name her Tita? T-I-T-A? <sighs> Nothing like the first drink after a job. Why don't you have one too? Yeah. Oh, that's more like it. I drank some of the, sp of the Surge on the table. You see it? It's fucking Surge. I wanna play whatever game this is. Wait, what's that say? Texas. Texas? How do they know about Texas? Did Squaresoft just like... They needed an, like an America, really American sounding word. And they were just like, Texas. And they just left it. Upon realizing it was a state, the game was about to ship. Oh well. Somehow the inhabitants of Midgar know about Texas. Some say it's the promised land. There are those in Midgar who claim that Texas is the way to salvation. No one's seen it. No one knows where it is. But there are only rumors that there's the salt lick in Austin. And everyone talks about that being the best barbecue. But yet no one in Midgar has had it. Because they can't find Texas. God, now I want some barbecue. Guys, what the fuck is this? And why did I never notice this when I was a child? Why is a human-alien anteater hybrid speaking on the news with the word sin above his head? Uh, don't go thinking you so bad just cause you was in soldier. Jez, cuz. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. God, that's so like you cut that with a knife. Look, look at him. He's like <laughs> so angry, Barrett. <laughs> sin. What was- where was Cloud sleeping? Was Cloud just, like, sleeping underneath the fucking pipe? Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? I, I don't know what you mean. Way to go, Cloud. Nice fucking pickup line, you jerk. Teaching Marlene how to mix alcohol. Very nice. That money's for her schooling! You dried up old geese, you tired? How old is Cloud supposed to be in this game? Just one condition. You gotta give me some cash. No. Cheap shit. You just- he just called me a cheap fuck. Or cunt. Finger, what the hell? He's got like a Misfits t-shirt on his wall. Or a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. Welcome to the slums! Hoodlums again. Oh, God, I just have all the luck. You say something? I said... You say something? Yo, look at that. Got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn, it's empty because of guys like you. I I yipes! You working for Shinra? I won't give in to violence, Barrett. Fuck, you lucky fuck. So, what are we gonna do now? Shit. What are you so calm about? You busting up my rhythm. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat, type A security alert. What's happening? What's going on? Shit, someone blew it. Let's go, keep it up. I just got a high potion. I remembered that somehow. All right, we clear? Not yet. 
they're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. Yo, this way. Let's go! We're gonna dive out of here! Do I look good in a Shinra uniform? Yeah. You look great, just like a man. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, wrong voice, I think. Yeah, I've made up my mind. Watch closely, I'm gonna jump. Like I said, some of the dialogue just seems a bit disjointed from time to time. Don't go getting your spiky ass hurt! It's only the beginning of the mission. Later, we'll take care of the rest. Good. So far, everything's going as planned. Better not let your guard down till we reach Sector 5 Reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it! This one damn tiny hole, are you telling me to squeeze into that to go into the plate? No way! Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Don't be wasting time, never know when the Shinra will find us. Cloud, you just gotta go! Okay. <laughs> But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. Look at those graphics. Here we go. Yeah, I love the shit graphics. I really do. That makes it so much more fun. See, this is where the cell shading really, sh like, shines. It retains the, the PlayStation feel, but it kind of... It jazzes it up a little bit. We. It's very blue in here. Jesse said all we have to do is push the button at once. I'm, I'm bad at this. Look at, look at how we're pushing the button. Just smashing my stumps into a panel. There you go. Anyway, back to the Shinra soldiers. Shit. What the hell's going on? A trap. President Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be that, uh, what was it? Avalanche! Don't you forget it! You're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, President. Oh, you. You're the one who quit soldiered and joined Avalanche. Ah. Uh. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor. What was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember each person's name. Unless you become another Sephiroth. Yes, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. <laughs> Don't give a damn about none of that. This place going up with a big bang soon. Serves you all right. Such a waste of good fireworks. Just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Oh, Shinra the vermin killing the planet. That makes you king vermin. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. Very busy man. So if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. What the hell is that? Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapons development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. Techno soldier? Yes, it's as dumb as it sounds, Cloud. God, that's a fucking good attack. That limit break. Also, can we take a mo moment to appreciate one of the, in my opinion, one of the best boss themes ever? I love this boss battle music so much. It's gonna blow! Let's go, Tifa! Alright, can't you do something? Not a damn thing! You gonna be alright? You worry about yourselves, I'm alright. But take care of Tifa. Alright, sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Alright, then, uh, later. It's fucking character models. I'll give it a try. Oh, it moved! Take it slow now, little by little. What, what's happening? Is, is sex? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh my god. You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. It suddenly fell on top of me. It really gave me a scare. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Oh, you know, falling... How, how, how high up was that? 
and the roof broke his fall and not his back. Flower bed, is this yours? Then again, he's Popeye, so he'll be all right. Sorry about that. That's all right. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say you can't grow grass and flowers in Midgar, but for some reason the flowers have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. So we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. You're the slum drunk. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Yeah, some. Nowadays you can find materia anywhere. Mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You probably just don't know how to use it. No, I, I do. It just doesn't do anything. But I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Oh, you're- okay, you're- You're using your nublets to rearrange the order of the flowers, okay. We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... I'm Aerith, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. I have half the chat thanking me, the other half the chat telling me to go fuck myself, and the other half of the chat wanted me to name Barrett Mr. T. You can't win. The name's Cloud. Me? Oh, I do a little bit of everything. Oh, jack of all trades. Yeah, I, I do whatever's needed. Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You do do everything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. The ancient is getting away. Attack! 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 Hey, Geik! Aerith! Cloud help! Danky Kang. He has no style. He has no grace. This cloud has a low polygon model made in the mid 90s. Oh, man. Love this song so much. Under the Rotting Pizza is the name of it. Great name, great instrumentation, great melody, it's just so good. The guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he answers, uh, or ah. Is it the general? Okay. Well, there it is. Soak it in, boys. Soak it in. This guy are sick. Guys, this is the general. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. Better translation than this guy are sick. This guy are sick. Toot toot, next stop, Midgar, Midgar. Any passengers getting off on Midgar should please ring. You know, Midgar is supposed to be sparkly and springy and sleeky. Oh yeah, someday I'm going there. What the fuck am I reading? Huh, you want weapons? That's too damn bad. I ain't got no weapons to sell you. And the reason why is, the weapon store is over that way. <laughs> this writing s seemed completely fine when I was younger. You can't look up. Because when you look up, you don't you don't see the things on the on the filthy, disgusting ground. Oh, this this is fun. I, I like reading this shitty translation. This guy got rupees from Zelda. Glug glug. No, no one will find it. Num. The top one and the bottom one. Turtles Paradise News number one for delicious wine with a nice ring to it. Stop on by Turtles Paradise. I'm not gonna steal this kid's allowance. He can buy some rat with that. A whole five gill. You can get a lot of a rat. Tortole! Tortole! Cloud, I thought the Turks came back. Get some rest. Uh, the lost art of just sitting and staring at a wall. Cloud, oh, god damn it. Why do I keep getting caught? How old is Aerith supposed to be? I, I think, what, Cloud's like 21? God, I thought that was so old when I was first playing this game. Oh shit, she found me. Isn't there a house enemy that you have to fight in, in this area? It's just like a big house. There it is. Yeah, that is bizarre. Burning down the house! I have a process in my volume mixer called Cefcom 3. And it has no volume. Does anyone know what the hell that is? Oh, and it's gone. It was there for a second, now it's gone. Well, goodbye, computer. It was nice knowing you, Mr. Computer. Uh, can we take a break? Okay, we'll go to the cat slide. Cat slide is my favorite Final Fantasy character. What rank were you? Rank. You know, in Soldier. Oh, I was... First class. That white flash. Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Just the same as him. The same as who? Me? Gungaga. Oh shit, a chocoboo. Hey, back there. Tifa. 
That girl in the cart was Tifa? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. Wait! I'll go on alone. You go home. I, I'm gonna stay on the cat slide, though. Damn it, just let me go on the fucking cat slide a little bit. Look at that. Look at these graphics. <laughs> these ground textures. <laughs> this was amazing in 1997. And now I look at it, it looks like clouds. It looks like yellow piss clouds and a bunch of, like, poorly textured polygons that maybe could be trash. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a grill. So we've got to find Tifa. <laughs> I almost called her Tina. we got to find Tina fast. That could have killed Cloud. Whoa! Why don't you say something if you're standing there? Hyper cure sadness, guys. Can we get Sponge one of these fucking things? Also, what does hyper mean if it cures? Is it cocaine? Like, when I hear the word hyper and it's like a drug that cures sadness, I just, it's coke. Does this look like a place that wouldn't have cocaine in, in their stores? Hey, boy. Sure got good looking heifer there. Take it to Don's place and you'll make a mint. Please come in. It's free pharmacy coupon if you enter now. I'll come sit wherever you'd like. Best dialogue in Final Fantasy VII. Umph, scarf, glub. Yes, what do you have? Korean barbecue plate? One Korean barbecue. Yes, Cloud just said one Korean barbecue plate. Can you guys explain what the fuck Korea is? Because this... I'm not sure if this world map has Korea. I've had better dog food. This reminds me of that one character that supposedly links the X-Files and like... 50 other TV shows. You're closed now. What, what is this store exactly? Is it okay for you to just lay on your counter like that, dude? Oh, look at these men. These big manly men. Join the club. <laughs> Try it with us. Join the men club. Squats. There's a welcome mat that says fight. And it's just men doing squats in it. <laughs> oh god, this game is silly. I missed it. Phew, times are bad. And then? Hmm, oh really? Fascinating NPC conversation. GUN! This is Don Corneo's mansion. It's a big shot here in Wall Market. Listen, the Don's not interested in men, so just get the hell out of here. Don is not interested in men. I'm gonna show him. Okay, where do you fucking... Does Vinny rap? Yes, I rap. You can tell by the way I speak. I am a rap artist. I'm Illin. This is the jabroni gym. Fucking hell. This isn't a pharmacy, is it? Beep. Bip. No, that's- that's... Gun that keeps trying to kill me. Whoa! Digestive. Here you go, have to digestive. Let the poop come naturally. Sexy cologne. Yeah, I got some sexy cologne. So happy. Oops! The hell you fuck! This ain't no fucking show, I'm busy right now! Feeling like there's gonna be a fight. Welcome. Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet their destiny here. You looking for a girlfriend too? You know a girl named Tifa? Hey, you're pretty fast. Tifa's our newest girl, but unfortunately she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for all new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo's a famous dilettante. <laughs> now he wants to settle down and is in the front in the market for a bride. So we gotta... We gotta get in there. Because we gotta be a pretty lady. Being a man, that'll be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, <laughs> it'll cause too much commotion. Oh! If I bust in there, you can interpret that in some fantastic ways. What a filthy mind I have. First, we need to find out if Tina... Tina is alright. <laughs> Why am I saying Tina? <laughs> Busting makes me feel good. Busting makes me feel good. Clod. Cool in the clude. Excuse us, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? I am the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. Make me some clothes. <laughs> Personable as always, Cloud. Soft. Ooh, soft. <laughs> Shimmers. You know, I got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. I can't help but see Dr. Wiley uh, above this neon sign. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go <laughs> and talk to them! What do you mean at the gym? You the one... Who wants to be cute? Urgh! Big bro! The only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can be big bro. He had 16 squats, you had 19 squats. <laughs> oh 
Bro's fist of steel cut to the bone. <laughs> it's fucking part of the game. Protein drink set. That jerk. I do so much more business than him. His head'll spin. Muscle milk! Makeup and panties. I need makeup and panties. Just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. You won't be able to get in without it. Masura maker. Pooh! I mean, uh, sir? Hurry, please choose a room. Gosh, he's so weird, but then again, they all are. The queen's room. Wow! <laughs> the wind's calm now. It's the curse of the resurrected Satan. Our beloved queen does not awaken. Time is ripe. <laughs> Jeez, Mr. President, I mean, your majesty. Oh, I'm sorry. Please remove the ancient curse. Is that President Shinra? Pooh! Uh, I mean, sir, hurry. Oh, yeah. There was some ERP in that previous room. What do we got in this one? <sighs> What's wrong, Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa? You keep sighing. <sighs> you know, Grandma, talking about this room? You know, our son rented this for us and all, but it's too nice for us. Big round bed, gorgeous tub. I just can't get comfortable. Don't worry about it. It's a high-class neighborhood in the big city. Keep complaining and we'll get in trouble. Uh, Poo! I mean, uh, sir, hurry! The fuck room. The group room. Poo! Now all we have to do is enter the room. You're not gonna have to change a heart, are you? Don't make me repeat myself. Oh, don't be angry with me. Jeez, this one's probably the violent type. Come on, everyone's waiting. Everyone? Here they are. All right, everyone. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tonight, I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive in the world. What's up? Oh, man. <laughs> Don't be so embarrassed. Loosen up, bubby. Let's wash off all our sweat and dirt together. Bubbly, you're the intimate type, huh? <laughs> wow, would you look at that? <laughs> what is this sound effect? Isn't bathing great? It soothes your heart. How is it, Bubbly? Feels good, huh? It hurts. Oh, you get used to it. Try counting to ten. Ten. Nine. Hey, Bubbly. How old are you? Eight. Twenty-one. You're less than half my age. I'm so jealous. So? How about it? You want to join my young Bubbly's group? Seven. Six. Not to be rude or anything, but... Could you go do something else? Well, if that's how you feel, too bad. We have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's 10, I'm getting out. Oh, why don't you stick around and play for a bit? Daddy's so lonely. <laughs> Bubby. This is important to me. Here's a memento of our time together. Bikini briefs acquired. Hope we meet again. This is some underwear. I'm supposed to wear this? Well, if it's to save Tifa, I guess there's no way around. You? What are you doing in a place like this? Ow, my ears. Started moving. What has? Wake up! What? Who's saying what? I'm so fucking confused. Head just go through his crotch. Bubby, I heard you collapsed. Don't get so uptight. Hmm? 
They say youth is so long, but so short. Let's give this next one your best shot. Time's up. Bye, Bubby. <laughs> it's fucking game. I'm so sorry. There's a lot of adult things going on. If you're inconvenient, please take this, okay? Oh, oh, Bubby. Oh, Bubby. Can you put makeup on me, too? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I look how beautiful I look. Look at that face. It's gonna moonwalking. Oh, Bubby. My underwear is beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna be beautiful and cute. <laughs> Cloudette. You're so cute, Miss Cloud. Oh, gosh. Looks good on you. You, you are weird. Cloudlers and tiaras. I guess we're gonna try to sneak in. We're gonna be a sexy, beautiful lady and we're gonna sneak in. Damn, your friend's hot too. Come in, come in. Two ladies coming through. Hi, ladies. I'll go and let the dawn know your hair. White hair. That guy wandering around. Like, I wonder what they told you, Matsu, for him composing this part of the game songs. Well, Mr. Yumatsu-san, it's, uh, it's, um, you know, it's a whorehouse. <laughs> Cloud's embarrassed. Uh, Tifa? Nice to meet you, I'm Aerith. Cloud's told me a lot about you. Hey, you're the one with Cloud in the park. Cloud? It's time, ladies. The dawn is waiting. I wonder what Barrett would say if he could see you now. You just full of surprises, Cloud! All right, ladies, line up in front of the dawn. Oh, God, splendid. <laughs> now, let's see, which girl should I choose? Hmm. Hmm. This one? Or this one? Hmm. Here it is. I've made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... This healthy looking girl. W w wait a sec, I, I mean, um... Uh, please wait a moment. Oh, I love chickies who play hard to get. Yowza! You can have the other ones. Th yes sir, thank you sir. Well, then shall we go, my pretty? Ah. <laughs> We're finally alone. All right, pussycat, come to daddy. He's got cocaine in his room. Of course he does. You're so cute. I never get tired of looking at you. Do you like me too? You don't like me? There isn't someone else, is there? Yes, his name is Barrett. No way! Barrett, that sounds familiar. Ah, uh, you know, he's one of the ones you were trying to find out about. You know, Avalanche? Oh, yeah, yeah, and Sector 7 in the slum. And how do you know that? Spin! The man? You tricked me! Someone get in here now! Unfortunately, no one will be coming to help. You're the ones from before! <laughs> What the hell is going on? What did your assistants find out? Talk. If you don't tell us... I'll chop them off. No. <laughs> Not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was. But that's because I was ordered to do it. By who? No, I told you. If I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll rip them off. Whoa! I was Heidegger of Shinra. Heidegger, the head of public safety maintenance. Did you say the Shinra? What are they up to? Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll smash them. You're serious, aren't you? Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called a Avalanche. And they want to infiltrate their hideout. They're really going to crush them. Literally. 
by breaking the support holding up the plate above them. You know what's going to happen. The plate will go ping. Everything's gonna go bam. Just a second. Shut up. No, wait. It'll only take a second. How do you think scum like me feels when they babble on about the truth? They've pretty much given up on li- Oh, whoops. Woohoo! Right. <laughs> stool. You gotta flush your stool, Luigi. If there's a slight discoloration, like a green one-up mushroom in your stool, then you gotta go see a doctor. If it's a little red, that means you maybe got a little blood in your stool, Luigi. And if it's too white, then I don't know what the fuck is going on with you, Luigi. Teenage, adolescent, deformed, ninjutsu, amphibians. Did you guys ever see Pizza Time? It's a good, it's a short film. It's a good short film. Very, very, um, entertaining. Very, very in Knob That Boglin is a good short film as well, yeah. Eris, what are you here- what are you standing here for? I know you're alright, I need to get to this ladder. Oh, Tifa, I have to talk to her. I thought that was a piece of trash. <laughs> I really couldn't tell! The graphics! Sludge. Sludge monster. Nice camera angle. I like the running sound effect that they have. <laughs> oh yeah, knob that boglin. Knob that boglin. It's too late. Marlene, Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Yeah, you're right. We still have time. That didn't take it. <laughs> that didn't take much convincing. Don't feel this way. Okay. And there are tons of people that have never played this game at all. So, for those really worried about spoilers, just close the chat. Simple as that. Snape kills Ganondorf. Um, holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to... Um, die or something. So, baby gamers, if you grew up with Call of Duty, and that's your background gaming, I, I don't hold it against you, but really, you know, you suck. Go play a better game. I don't like Apple products. Hi, I'm a Mac. Hi, I'm a PC. Yeah, I remember the, the Mac and PC commercials. That was like... You know what that is? That's... Nin Sega does what Nintendo don't. I like Big Macs better than Mac computers. Oh shit. Wedge. Are you alright? Clap. You remembered... My name. Barrett's up top. Help him. Tifa! Cloud, you came! Be careful. They attacked him from a helicopter. Look at that face. Look at that Barrett face. You're too late. Once I push this button. When are we gonna get Final Fantasy VII after Advent Children? There is so much Final Fantasy shit. There was Crisis Core, there was Advent Children, there was Dirge of Cerberus. Before Crisis, Final Fantasy VII 2 Remix, Gaiden, Golden, featuring Cloud from the Final Fantasy series. Fainuru Fandaju. Cash Grabberu. Damn, it's a time bomb! That's right. You'll have a hard time disarming that one. It'll blow the second some stupid jerk touches it. It's funny how graphics in video games now actually look better than the pre-rendered cutscenes in this game. For the most part. Oh, we can use this Y to get out. Am I riding on top of Barrett's arm? Like, am, am I on his muscles right now? Sin is dead, guys. I like how he just watches, listens to his, his fancy music, his fancy rich person music, and just watches. 
massive cunt. Marlene! Biggs, Witch, Jesse. God damn it. Damn. Hell is it all for? Barrett, stop. Please. Stop, Barrett. Erg. Biggs. Witch. Jesse. It's the damn Shinra. It's never been nobody but the Shinra. They're evil. Destroying our planet just to build their power and line their own damn pockets with gold. If we don't get rid of them, they're gonna kill this planet. Our fight ain't never gonna be over till we get rid of them. I'm just the dude playing the dude pretending to be another dude. Oh, Bubby. We're back, Bubby. Back in Walmart. So, Cat Slide is still here. Cat Slide may have a little bit of rebar in its head. Cat Slide has brain hemorrhaging. Cat Slide has got Terminal 7, sadly. If you think about it, those pieces of rebar probably did come from a train station in Sector 7. So that would make them Terminal 7. We finally found out what Terminal 7 is. This cat's fine, though. Cat Cave? Cat Cave is just fine. Is this the general again? Oh. This guy are sick. Where did this piece of Roman architecture come from? I want to know. Like, w was someone experimenting with this? And was just like, yeah, we'll just dump it in the slums. These things look like shrimp with legs, but it looks like they, they kind of look like um, a security device for, for a vagina. Oh, you know my boy Cat Slide. Going up to the plate? You better have a battery. You gonna sell me something you just found? Hey, you knew? But I repaired it, so it's all right. All right, I take them. Jez. Jez full of surprises. Why Delta D36? Why do you want me to give Barrett the steel material? Why don't you elaborate fully? Delta D36. Put a vagina shrimp. A leg vagina shrimp. I'm gonna send one after you. He says because Tifa can do more DPS while Barrett can take items and throw them as grenades. All right, good save. Good save. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Why do you think they, they stopped the train from going up to the top? Do you think it's because, like, bums from the um, slums would just try to go up there and live up on the top plate where it's all nice and, and um, you know, clean and there's less aids and they just like bummed around in the nice property so shinra was just like you know what why don't we just remove the train that will solve the problem burning down the house yeah it leads to the upper world all right we climb this wire shiny golden wire of hope why is there one pixel of pink over there <laughs> I hate this part. That was just a bonus. Which means I have to do the jump again. Oh no. What is this? I'm stuck. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Yeah, first try. Elysium starring the ant team. There's the Shinra tower. That's where they live in comfort. All that electricity that they're draining from the planet, all that energy. I like how they they had to put Cloud Sword on his model for that part, just because it was on the, the front of the game cover. Yo, you really gonna take these stairs all the way up? Oh god, the stairs. Yup, there's actually 60 floors. Well, guess what we're doing, guys? <laughs> don't know. Why the hell? We gotta climb! Because we don't want to start a commotion until we've saved Aerith. I doubt that's possible, though. <laughs> Knock it off. You're giving me the creeps. So, oh, even you will fight for someone else. My head, you figured wrong, I guess. Who cares what you just figured? Just saying. M maybe I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Tifa? But wait a minute. Jez, maybe. Jez, maybe we could figure out what Cloud really wants. How much? Father, do these stairs go on? Why don't you ask them? It's not one of them endless stairways or something, do you think? Of course not. Right. Couldn't be that. Are we there yet? Not yet. There yet? 
Said not yet. Yo. <laughs> Look, don't even ask. We're way, 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 way far off. Damn, man. I've had it. I'm going back. Take just as long going down as you did coming up. Yo, what floor is this? I gave up counting. Yeah, me too. Why they gotta build these buildings so damn tall? <sighs> man, I'm beat. Marlene, Addy wanted to see your face one more time. Did you stop acting like a retard and climb? <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, you couldn't get away with that in a game now. That is... That is... Astounding. <laughs> Time to write your retroactive complaints to Squaresoft. From fucking, you know, 20 years ago. Hello, sir! I wish to register a complaint about the dialogue in your newest game, Final Fantasy VII. That came out in 1997. Oh, f finally m made it. I never want to see no, no more stairs for the rest of my life. Destroy the intruder. How did they know? I snuck. How did they know? They didn't even ask me a question. Anytime I catch a spider, especially a pregnant spider anywhere in my house, I put it in the attic and I, I leave it to breed. And that way I can have my own colony of spiders. I'm gonna sell them on Amazon. 15 bucks for 3,000 spiders. They'll all arrive live. You have my word. I'm gonna, like, scoop them with my hand, specifically, for you. I'm just gonna grab them and put them in. It's gonna be great. Oh, you just full of surprises, baby! Honey, buy me that car. But baby, that's way too expensive. Welcome. Today we have on special- Ah! Here, take the money. Don't want no money. Avalanche ain't no pack of criminals. We just want back what your boss stole from us. Avalanche? Now, we ain't gonna hurt you. We might even pay you if you help us. Oh, okay, well. God damn it, Barrett. We almost got a bunch of free shit, and Barrett was like, Ah, we gonna pay! You open up all those things without asking, and hey, wait, what? It's, it's there, I want it. What is this movement that they're making? It's a good thing this is the end of the game. The, the final area. It's a short game, this. But it has a good happy ending. A lot of resolutions. Right after Shinra Tower, game ends. You learn about the fate of our, our three heroes. Hey there, what do you think you're doing there? Oh, God damn it. I thought that said beaver for a second. I thought Cloud's Limit Break was called beaver. I'm like, what is, what is that? What kind of attack is beaver? Yeah, because at the end of the game you get Rufus. These guards are so useless. All they need to do is hire one more guard per side, and you can cover all of it. You just fall apart! I mean, Barrett is really wide. It's like no wonder they can see him. He's just really, really wide. I remember thinking that Cloud's hair was cool. And, like, I wanted it. It's like, how do I do my hair like that? And then I realized, like, that tuft of hair, to get it, like, that's that one big spike, that has to take forever. The amount of gel and hairspray. Oh, I got over it very quickly. I realized. As soon as I hit the age of reason, which was probably a month later, I realized how fucking stupid that haircut is. And then I realized, like, when I go to Comic-Con and I see clouds walking around. You know you know how they is, them clouds. It's like a plastic thing. Oh, oh how'd that happen? Oh, I got another chance? I got- wow, how do I keep getting all these chances? How did they not see him? How did they not see her? Okay, we gonna rock. Remember, we're here to save Aerith. Hell, I know that! What the hell are you? What you doing around here? Oh, I see. So you must be that, uh, what you call it? Shinra Inc. Repair Division! I'll give you this. Thanks. <laughs> yep, I'm the repair man. King! King! President Shinra sucks, I should be king of Midgar. Butt plug. Elemental materia. Oh, I want that. Guess what we have to do here? This again. Remember this? Remember this? Uh, butt plug. You fool! I hate it! I hate it! Hey, guess what? I know your password. It's not King. Didn't we just fucking find out it was King? It's not orbs. It's not Mako. A Mako reactor outside of Midgar means nothing else out there. Bomb! 
It's like the Blackbird in Chrono Trigger. Or Solid Snake. Go, go. Stop, Cloud. What are you doing? Go up. Uh, yes, butt plug. Nothing. I just wasted 250 gil for nothing. What's this, a megaphone? Hanging on to this won't do any good. Isn't that Kate Sith's, like, ultimate weapon? God damn it, Cloud, let me get it. It's like you can store all of this other shit. Let's take a look at what Cloud can store, all right? Giant swords, uh, 11 potions, 11 ethers, 11, five phoenix downs. Presumably they take up some room in one's pockets. Um, three pieces of armor, two grenades, leather gloves, gatling gun, iron bangle, bronze bangle, tent, a tent, high potions, gravity ball, phoenix down, a silk dress, a diamond tiara, a blonde wig, sexy cologne, lingerie. No, 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 we can keep the lingerie just for shits and giggles. Let's not pick up the megaphone, though. Let's not pick up the megaphone, right, Clued? Clued, make a hole in the Clued. Mm, Clued disappear. Mm, Clued disappear. <laughs> Clued disappear. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Another You're gonna turn crowd. to what? Oh, no, no, the video's at- Oh, no, vi what the fuck is this related video? What the fuck? Oh, couldn't get- it. I guess Cloud's big bo boobies. I get it. I, I understand. Thanks, YouTube. Good, good, good algorithm. I'd like to alert you to this guy's quality animations. Quality frames of animation. Ah, uh, the pa them panties. Take them out. <laughs> Working out in a business suit. Isn't it great? Whoa, Cloud just goes through there. <laughs> just, why not? A flush option. Jeez, there's a lot of suits. Right, hike, great right, hike, ah la la! And please include our space program in the budget! Ha <laughs> ha! After all, we're the ones who saved Sector 7 from Avalanche! Dirty fuck. That concludes our meeting. Battles. Here. Oh, what is- what? What is this again? <laughs> what the fuck? It's just a big sign that says leave at once. Stop! Come no further! Looks like a Japanese game show. Yes, it does. It actually kind of does. Matsumoto Auto. Give it a high five. It's either a stop machine or a high five machine. My precious specimen. Precious specimen. Metal Gear. Genova. Yep, Dem's titties. Aerith. Aerith. Oh. Is that her name? What do you want? We're taking Aerith back. There's so many frivolous things in this world. Are you going to kill me? I don't think you should. This equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who could operate it? Hmm? Now, oh. bring in the specimen. What is this experiment? I don't understand the experiment. All right, step back. Stop! It's rather strong. I'll help you all out. It... Oh. It talked? I'll talk as much as you want later, miss. What's your name? Hojo has named me Red Thirteen. A name with no meaning whatsoever to me. Call me whatever you wish. What are we fighting exactly? Where did these things come from? I, I thought... Wh what is this thing? <laughs> Why does it have a mouth on its shoulder? And where did it come from? I thought we were fighting a scientist. Rihanna Magic. Oh god, it's like Lavos. What a nice man to make experiments that look like this. I think Hojo is a, is a misunderstood hero of this game. Don't you? Putting like, m like giant mouth face teeth man monsters on shoulders. He's alright in my book. I can see it now, like Hojo. You know, he gets to this point in his life when he realizes that maybe he's... Maybe he's done something a little bit wrong. Maybe his life hasn't been what it should have been. Maybe he feels a little remorse, a little regret. So, in his moments of remorse and regret and doubt, he has sex with his creation. Right in the mouth shoulder. I apologized for what happened back there. I was merely acting to throw Hojo off guard. Now we're saved everything. Ain't no need for this building. To be in this building. So let's get the hell out of here. You sound like you need her to kiss your boobos still. 
Boo boos? Oh, boo boos. I, I was like, what the fuck is a boobo? Is that like a nickname for me? Boobo? Sadly, I've had some fucking stupid nicknames. <laughs> boobo, please. Please unban boobo. I sent you the email to let you know that I am sorry and I wish to be unbanned, boobo. A oh, hug, bubby. Cloud is. is a bubby. Stole the hard edge. There we go. There you go. Look at that. A new sword for Cloud, finally. Where were they hiding this spike ball? Uh, guys. Is it just me, or maybe it's a little bit dangerous to keep a big fuck spike bot, you know, with like an unstable, like, ball as its mode of transportation? You know, in the hallway of your corporate building? They don't believe in work safety. Uh, hey, what is it? Would you press up, please? Must have been a real thrill for you. Did you enjoy it? Uh, you all got caught too? Where is Aerith? In a safe place. She's the last surviving ancient. Don't you know? They called themselves the Setra, and they lived thousands of years ago. Now they're just a forgotten page in history. Setra. That girl. Is she a survivor of the Setra? Setra, or the ancients, will show us the way to the Promised Land. I'm expecting a lot out of her. Promised Land? Isn't that just a legend? Even so, it's just too appealing. To not pursue. To not to pursue. It's too appealing. That's how it said that. That's how it was written. It's just too appealing to not to pursue. To not to pursue. I mean, maybe. No, that's pretty bad. It's been said the promised land is very fertile. If the land is fertile, then there's gotta be Mako. Exactly. That's why our money-sucking Mako reactor is necessary. The abundant Mako will just come out on its own. That is where Neo Midgar will be built. Shinra's new glory. Fuck. Quit dreaming. Oh, really? Don't you know? These days, all it takes for your dreams to come true is money and power. Well, that is all for our meeting. Come on, out of his way. Hold it. I got a lot I want to say to you. You need something else? Talk to my secretary. I can't just leave them be. I'm recruiting new members. Me, Tifa, Cloud, and Aerith, too. How about you? You're so damn boring. Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa, mmm. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> hey, I'm your Barty. I'm your Barty guard, right? Tifa, wake up. What's wrong? Something's wrong. Look outside. Should have a key on him. Barrett, Nanaki, come with me. Something's wrong. How'd you get in? Why is the door open? The hell's going on? No human could have done this. I'll go on ahead. I'll clean up back here. So you guys go on ahead. Don't get caught by the Shinra. Genova specimen. Looks like it went to the upper floor using that elevator for the specimens. Oh shit, wrong voice. Whoops. That was supposed to be Sean Connery. Your mother's a whore. Cloud. It looks like it leads up! Gengana. Okay, thanks, Gengana. Me? Gunga ga 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 Paisano shower? Hey, Paisanos! Luigi, we gotta infiltrate Shinra Tower, and we gotta get some custom Shinra action figures of all the soldiers. Sephiroth. Zack, Soldier 15A, Custom Lobot. We have to find out what the hell's going on here. Dum bum bum bum! Um, would I ever release lyrics to the- oh, what are these enemies? What are they called? V Vagrid- Vargid Police? What are they the fucking police of? Tampons? Flesh tampons, the police. He's dead. The leader of Shinra, Incorporated, is dead. Then the sword must be... Sephiroth's. Looks like it. Only Sephiroth can use that sword. Who cares who did it? This is the end of the Shinra now! Uh, please don't kill me! Uh, Seph Sephiroth came. I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. And I heard his voice, too. He was saying something about not letting us have the promised land. 
does it mean that the Promised Land really exists and that Sephiroth's here to save it from Shinra? So he's a good guy then? Save the Promised Land. A good guy? No way. I know him. Sephiroth's mission is different. Rufus. Fuck. I forgot about him. I've heard that no one's ever seen him bleed or cry. I heard that he's been assigned somewhere else for a long time. I only know his name. So, Sephiroth was actually here. By the way, who are you guys? Cloud, former soldier, first class. I'm from Avalanche. Same here. Flower girl from the slums. A research specimen. Ah, what a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, president of Shinra Incorporated. You only president because your old man died. Old man tried to control the world with money. Seems to have been working. The population thought that Shinra would protect them. Work at Shinra, get your pay. If a terrorist attacks, the Shinra army will help you. Looks perfect on the outside. I'll control the world with fear. Takes too much to do it like my old man. Little fear will control the minds of the common people. There's no reason to waste money on them. These two Popeyes staring each other down. It's a real dramatic scene. If only they didn't look like deformed Lego men. These enemies are like... I still don't understand. Okay, so we know that, that one of them's an experiment. What the fuck is this guy? Why is there a bald man inside of a tea kettle? Is this an experiment or is this like a Shinra, like, elite guard? Like, let's just throw a bald guy inside one of these things and, and just hope it attacks enemies. Gingana. Aerith is down to one. Oh, shit! That was her final mission. She sacrificed herself to kill that guy. Let's see how many viewers. 672. That is a record for low viewers. But I need my numbers. I need... I need the attention. Don't you understand? All you people. Don't you get it? My ego is very delicate. If there aren't a ton of people here, someone's gonna get hurt. Oh, look at this. Nah, I don't fucking like this thing. The make-believe glass is gone now. Coconut smells! Can I sign up, sum up the Final Fantasy series to someone who's never played it? Each one is the last one. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? This says Percocet! This says Percocet! 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 This says Percocet! Happy Time Pizza is the code word. Oh, I gotcha. I understand now. I guess this means we won't become friends. I fucked these dog clean! <laughs> That's all for today. How did he? F how did his arm? How did his arm square grab that helicopter? Oh, whatever. I'll go on ahead. Nope. Fuck. Surrounded, huh? If I was alone, this wouldn't be a thing. But I got a reputation to protect. All right. Playtime's over for you, jackasses. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. Who you call him, Mr. Barrett? That don't sound right. Well then. You are through talking. May I suggest that we think of a way to get out of here? Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. You a cold man. Just like someone else I know around here. Did you say something? Not a thing. So, what are we gonna do? Barrett. Tifa, where's Cloud? Everyone, over here. Huh? What's up? Where's Cloud? I'll tell you later. Hurry, hurry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look. They look like... Plastic people, but people nonetheless. Oh god, those jiggles. It, it awoken feelings deep inside me. When I was a wee boy. Even though she looks like Clay-Doh. And, and just, you know, just like this, this Barbie doll thing come to life made out of clay. All grainy and fuzzy, but I was just like, ah!
this fucking minigame. But this is like an extremely iconic part of the game. I don't know why. It's just so, something so cool about it. Now you look back and it's like, EDGE! But if you look at that car, look, look at how low poly the models are. Barrett doesn't even have arms. He's got a triangle. Okay, that did not help me out at all. That camera angle. That, that did nothing for me. I should have formed a party, god damn it. Look, I'm the only one that has fucking materia. Cloud has materia, the rest of them don't. Spill, Amazing. Spill. <clears throat> la 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 la. There once was a man from Nantucket. Whose cloud was so big he could make it turn into a squeal. Come on, Tifa, beat the shit out of this tank with your bare fists. Oh, loco weed in four slots. I thought it said four loco. I was like, four locos in this game? Mind blow. Yeah, Barrett's gonna blow some fucking minds. Game over. We won, guys. KY and I would both attest to the fact that when we got to this part as little chillins, we, we couldn't believe that there was more to this game than Midgar. <laughs> we told Aaron's mom to go somewhere safe, so Marlene should be safe too. We need a group leader for our journey. Of course, only me could be the leader. Would have to be Cloud. Fuck. Alright. This is really just the beginning. That's Midgar. Just, you know, well, kind of. That's that's Midgar, world map Midgar, I should say. This is the world map, that classic Final Fantasy overworld. There's a bit of pop in, as you can see. And jaggies. And some bad textures. But I really thought, like, the Shinra Tower was the end of the game. When I first played this game, I was, like I said, I was stunned that there was so much more to the game. I remember, I, I was playing this. I had school the next day. It was really late. 12.30 p.m. got, uh, a.m. And that was, like, late for me. I thought, like, 1 o'clock was, was super late. I remember being tired for school the next day. But I could hardly sleep because I was, I was so excited that there was so much more. But there's three discs. Yeah, I know. I thought they were just for show. You know, it's weird to me that this this town would be so close to Midgar. It's this like, look at this aesthetic. It's so much different. I mean, look at that. It's like a freaking castle. It's like what happened was technology advanced and you can see the parts of the town like that are old. And then you can see the rest of the town that advanced technologically, which is, it's like it was retrofitted, which I always thought was cool. Is it true that the Shinra made a monster? Yeah, well, either way, as long as we're using the reactor, we can't stand up to Shinra. Shinra gives you TV. They give you clothes. They give you- look at that, they gave you steam things. Lights. I mean, you didn't even know what those things were. Up until the Shinra came along. Alright, maybe they knew what lights were. But definitely not TV and refrigerators and stuff. Without Shinra, we can't get nudie- nudie flicks on Cinemax late at night. I'd hate to think of what life would be like without Mako Energy. See? There's a statement. They're trying to make a statement here. Mako Energy's made things a lot more convenient, but it seems like a lot of plants and animals have been disappearing at a rapid pace. I think the old life was better. Don't you think so? Yeah, I'm sure... Sure I'm right. You think so, don't you? I mean, it's like they're beating you over the head! Mechanization bad! D dirk That just looks like a walking, like, beef jerky. <laughs> doesn't look like a dog! I, I love the beef jerky that was hiding in the closet. Beef jerky monsters. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a soldier. That's why I'm training hard now. When you grow up, you're gonna be a beef jerky that walks around just like your neighbor's dog. Yo, man! You're late. So let's hear your story. You know, the one about Sephiroth and the crisis facing the planet. Let's hear it all. I used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. After working with Sephiroth on several missions, we became friends. You call that a friend? He's older than me, and he hardly ever talked about himself. So I guess you'd call him a war buddy? We trusted each other. Until one day. That was five years ago. I was 16. It sure is raining hard. Hey, how are you doing? Me? Gungaga. Uh, I wouldn't know. I never had motion sickness. They gave me some new materia. I can't wait to use it. Gaga? That would be our monster. Look at look at that. Look at Cloud's health in this cutscene. Dead.
Cloud's dead. <laughs> Just, yep, finish him off. Two hits. Cloud's dead. Sephiroth's strength is unreal. He is far stronger in reality than any story you might have heard about him. My mother is Genova. She died right after she gave birth to me. My father was a gambling man in New Orleans. Yo, wait a minute! Isn't that, um, the name of Sephiroth's mother? I remember Genova, that damn headless spook living in Shinra building. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early. Oh, that's right. You may want to visit your family and friends. I heard Sephiroth was coming. I got my camera ready. I, I want a shot of Sephiroth and a monster. I don't take pictures with nobodies. Spin Rabbi. Shinra? Shinra? Soldier? S Salsa? Cloud, you've grown up to be a strong man. You want to see the strong man? Cloud, when did you become Popeye? Okay, I've had enough. <clears throat> Cloud, did you go into my underwear drawer? Uh, a little. Received orthopedic underwear. Oh my god, I didn't even remember that. Hey, aren't you... Have I come here before? I don't remember. Now you're pissing me off! This don't matter, so get on with it! What are you looking at? This scenery. I feel like I know this place. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep soon. They hired a guide to the Mako reactor. I hear she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Once the guide gets here, we're heading out. I'm Tifa, nice to meet you. Tifa, you're the guide? That's right. I just happen to be the number one guide in this town. Mr. Sephiroth, please let me take one picture for a memento. Cheese. You fucking idiot. Great, thank you. Spiky ass mountains. Ah, uh, the bridge. Those out of place Popeye men. Cloud's memory is excellent. What he didn't remember is that they died. Even Cloud. They all died from falling fucking thousands of feet. Ice 3. My level 1 Cloud is just gonna stare and, and like just watch all of this happen and feel useful. <laughs> Take a look at the stats. He's got all of this magic. You, you try to change his stuff, and he's just like, Are you kidding me? You can't equip him. He's got a mass immune. He's got a gold armlet, a tough ring. What does that say? Toof. Oh, Jesus. God. Guys, that's a typo. I never realized. I always thought it was a toof ring when I was young. A toof of him and his toof ring. This guy are sick. A Mako reactor outside Midgar? means nothing else out here. We finally made it. We sure took the long way, though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see. Only authorized people are allowed in. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. I like how they made this over here and posted no guards on the door, no locks on the door. Man. Like, they don't want people knowing Shinra's industrial secrets. They don't even put a fucking door on it. This is... Genova, right? The lock won't open. G what? Genova? Didn't he just say that was his mother? This is the reason for the malfunction. This part is broken. Cloud, close the valve. Look through the window. <laughs> what is this? Normal members of Soldier are humans that have been showered of Mako. They're different from the others, but still human. But what are they? been exposed to a high degree of Mako. Far more than you. Is this some kind of monster? Exactly. And it's Hojo of Shinra that produced these monsters. Mutated living organisms produced by Mako energy. 
That's what these monsters really are. Normal members of Soldier. Y you mean you're different? Hey, Sephiroth? Was I created this way too? The same as all these monsters? You saw it! All of them were humans. Human? No way! I've always felt since I was small that I was different from the others, special in some way. But not like this. Oh, hey, Satan. How's it going? Damn, Shinra! The more I hear, the more I hate him. The organism that was apparently dead was found in a 2,000-year-old geological stratum. Professor Gast named that organism Genova. My mother's name is Genova. Genova Project. Is this a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? Is that a pizza? No, it's not a pizza. Oh, so good idea, Cloud. Just stay in the creepy mansion with dust all over the place and old farts in the sheets. It's fine. No, nothing creepy about this mansion. You know, potential ghosts. I'm going to see my mother. The geological scrotum. A being named Jehovah was found. Oh, Jesus. Hey, it's you. You're still sane, right? Come over here and help me. I'll check this house. You check that one over there. Terrible. Sephiroth, this is too terrible. Just murdering people. Me and Mike like to joke about this scene, and it's why people love Sephiroth and, and lose their cojones over Sephiroth, and like they fap furiously because they think about that scene. Like he's so cool, he walked through the fire. Don't you understand, Mother? I'm here to see you. Please open this door. How could you do that to Papa and the townspeople? <laughs> I'm always Papa. Clearly of European descent. Oh, she'll be alright. You promised. You promised that you'd come when I was in trouble. Mother, let's take this planet back together. I thought of a great idea. Or I've thought of a great idea. Let's go to the promised land. Sephiroth. My family. My hometown. How could you do this to them? <laughs> They've come again, Mother. With her superior power, knowledge, and magic, Mother was destined to become the ruler of this planet. But they... Those worthless creatures... Are stealing the planet from Mother. Yeah, I'm gonna need some explanation on what the fuck that is. Cause that's Genova. What about my sadness? My family? Friends? The sadness of having my hometown taken away from me. It's the same as your sadness. I am the chosen one. I have been chosen to be the leader of this planet. I have orders to take this planet back from you stupid people for the Cetra. What am I supposed to be sad about? Sephiroth, I trusted you. No, you're not the Sephiroth I used to know. Please, as you know, be aware of the flashing lights. Photosensitivity warning, as always. Just be aware of that. And that's the end of my story. Wait a damn minute. Ain't there more? What happened to Sephiroth? In terms of skill, I couldn't have killed him. Official records state Sephiroth is dead. I read it in the newspaper. Shinra Incorporated owns the paper, so you can't rely on that information. I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened then. I challenged Sephiroth and I lived? Why didn't he kill me? Seems like a lot of this doesn't make sense. What about Genova? It was in the Shinra building, right? Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone else carry it out after that? It was missing from the Shinra building. Sephiroth. Damn! Don't none of this make sense! I'm going, going, going! Gone. And I'm leaving the thinking to you! Yo, Cloud, let, let's get a move on. 
You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Y'all just leave it to me. Jess, what a fascinating story. You're just full prowl. Cloud, take this. Receive PMS. Stay out of the kitchen. Oh, God. It's garbage. Cloud, I know I told y'all this before, but there ain't no getting off of this train we are. I meant that literally, Cloud. Like, I locked the door. You, you're not getting out of this fucking train, Cloud. Not until you give me a hug. Come on, just one. Just one hug. Please, Cloud. I'm waiting for this. I'll give you a nice strong one. You just full of surprises, Cloud. And yes, the world map looks a little bit like like a raw asshole on a Saturday night. Have you heard the good news about the Chesa Grease to Taco Bell? Oh yeah, Uncle Barrett gonna show you all a fine blow. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. What is this elephant creature? I'm fighting an ostrich and a little elephant. Alpha Dunk. <laughs> Levricon and Alpha Dunk. Yeah, Tifa, go right into him. Yo, these fucking elephants take a lot of damage. Ella fucking dead. Don't be sad, Tifa. That's Cloud's job. Oh shit. Purple Jaguars named Calm Fang. I fucking love purple jaguars. I wonder how Sephiroth was able to overcome the purple jaguars. Taco Bell reactor outside of Midgar could only mean one thing. Nothing else except liquid shit. That way you can zip through the marshes with the chocoboo. I grew up with a kid, a friend of mine, who pronounced it chocoboo. So, I just, I get a kick out of saying chocoboo. Midgar Zolum. It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. Picks up on the footsteps that enter the marshes. Then BAM! It attacks. To avoid that, buy a Chocoboo at Choco Bill and Choco Billy Chocoboo Farm. To purchase Chocoboo, talk to my grandson. 100 gil. To sleep in, in his bed. With his stains. Do you want a Chocobo? Give me one. You old folks are out of luck. Old folks. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Chocobo lore is a type of materia. If you equip this, they'll come to you, but without it, they won't appear. I guess I have no choice. Wouldn't hurt to buy some greens either, and how fast the chocobo will be finished, depending what type of greens you feed them. Yeah, smoke the greens. See some real fucking chocobos in real life. Chol. This guy's name is Chol. Wark. Dear God, what have I done? The dance of the chocobo has been complete. No? Fuck, we're still going. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, some fucking surf music. Yeah, Chocobo. Chocobo likes that. How does that do damage to a big, strong man like Barrett? This water attack. Get out of here with this shit. I hate these elephants so much. Holy shit, do I hate these fucking elephants. Oh, thank God. How to ride Chocobo. Chocoboos will escape whenever the player dismounts. There he is. Oh! I thought you could walk over it. I thought you could walk over it in the Chocobo and it wouldn't get into a battle. Run! Run, you fuckers! Run! Run, 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 run! Oh, they're not running! Oh, thank you, thank you. I can't even begin to explain how much dick that almost sucked. And pray tell, how did Sephiroth manage to lift the snake's head? that high into the air as to plummet it down onto a pike of a tree. He can fly, that's how. At, you know, at what point do you learn how to fly uh, in Soldier? Like, when does, does Shinra teach you how that happens? How to do that? 
Everyone's fucking sad. I don't have enough things to make them unsad. Sorry, you guys. I'm not good enough at motivating you to happiness. So this is our first summon. Isn't it cute? Boom! Boom! Uh, very well, Rude and I will go after Sephiroth, who is heading for Junin Harbor. Clud, Tiff, and Barry. Barrett is short for Barry, apparently. Barrett is somehow short for Barry. And Barry is short for Barreled. Back attack. She. So, this is the forest then. And how do I do this again? Isn't there a, like a specific way to do this? Oh, there she is. First try. Yeah, there she is. First try. Man, I can't believe I lost. You spiky headed jerk. One more time. All right, let's go one more time. Not interested. Thinking of running away? Stay and fight. Fight, I said. Come on, what's the matter? Pretty scared of me, huh? Petrified. What is this arbitrary set of questions? Hmm, just as I thought. What do you expect with my skills? Good luck to you guys, too. If you can feel up to it, we can go another round later. I'm really gonna leave. Really? Wait a second. What is it? You still have something for me? Hmm. So is that it? I know you want my help because I'm so good. Do you want me to go with you? That's right. Thought so. Put me in a spot. Hmm, what should I do? But if you want me that bad, I can't refuse. Alright. I'll go with you. Let's hurry on. Huh? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Yiffy. I'm Yiffy. Good to meet you. Just as I planned. And all I have to do is a little of this and a little of that. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Just look at this. A big, strong black man shooting missiles from his ass. That's why we love Final Fantasy VII. That's why it's such a revered and remembered game to this very day. I remember going over a friend's house years ago. He had this game, and it was this part. This was before I got the game, and this was one of the reasons I ended up getting it eventually, because I thought that this part was cool. Shinra? The hell are those jackasses doing here? We would like to protect the Condors from being harmed. New lives. <laughs> I'll do it! I'll protect them from the Shinra! Okay, so you items, feel free to use our beds that we wanked in. Feel free to have your own wank. Hey, this is Shinra Incorporated's elevator. Don't be snooping around here. Snooping! Just steal that bunny rabbit. Wouldn't it be great if, in a game like this, you could just do whatever you want? Just steal someone's bunny rabbit and then they react to it? I want to steal that fucking bunny rabbit and just keep it in my inventory. A game where you could literally do anything. Peter Molyneux approved game. Hey, Mr. Dolphin. My name is Priscilla. Now you say it. <coughs> Who are you guys? Are you members of the Shinra? No, you got it all wrong. We're fighting against the Shinra. That's how it is. I don't believe you. Get out of here. Great. Well, look at that. Please be careful, Mr. Dolphin. <laughs> Mr. Dolphin has already been eaten. His family is dead. It's too late for Mr. Dolphin. Maybe Mrs. Dolphin can survive, but we gotta act quick. Whoa, that was really good. Unfortunately, Tifa can do nothing except cure. Look at this enemy design. What is this enemy? Some of these designs just <laughs> are so out of fucking left field. It's a fish that can fly with bone tail. It's colorful. It's got translucent wings. You know, for when it flies. Uh... Alright, I guess we're gonna cure... Cloud? Can Cloud even do anything right now? Can Barrett do anything? Okay, we're... We're stuck in bubbles. Come on, Tifa, win. Win the fight. Oh god! <laughs> Use the limit break on the bubble! It did fuck all. Tifa cannot pop the bubbles. Great. Oh, I don't have any magic on Tifa, I just have healing. <laughs> All I can do is attack and steal. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Cloud's dead. So is the enemy? What? What? The fuck was this fight? <laughs> he killed himself with his tsunami. Young man, CPR now! Come on, Cloud! I don't understand this. Why, like, why can't the dude who clearly knows what he's doing do CPR? Cloud, 
You're her type. Quickly, blow into her mouth. Yeah, I don't think CPR is done like this. Breathing in as far as you can. <laughs> now, Mr. Dolphin's dead. Don't worry about Mr. Dolphin. He, he, he will no longer have any thoughts. Heard what happened. You've done so much for Priscilla. Here, now have some rest. For free! After you used your tent. What do you mean you're not tired? Here's three beds. What do you mean you just slept in a tent outside and got pissed on by a giant mucka wucka bat? I'm gonna go relax for a while. For the past few decades, the only thing I've been hearing about is the Shinra. I miss the times when we used to talk only about fish. Yeah, but now you have television. Seems like something going on up there. Does this have something to do with the Shinra? What's this loud music? It's giving me a headache. Of course. It's noisy, they hear the in-game music. I'm sorry, I mistook you for one of those Shinra. It's alright. I'll give you something special. Oh god. It's an amulet. Take good care of it, okay? We got Shiva. What's that music? Sure sounds lively. I heard they're rehearsing the reception for the new Shinra president. Rufus? Oh, I gotta pay my respects. Grandpa and Grandma told me that this beach was beautiful when they were small. But after the Shinra built that city above, the sun stopped shining here and the water got polluted. I was raised on that story and hate Shinra so much I could die. Cloud, didn't you finish Rufus off? Maybe we could climb the towel. We're counting on you, Cloud. Hey, wait, wait a second. Yeah, I'd like to take a good look at that new president of Shinra, Inc. Why is everyone finishing Shinra with Shinra, Inc.? Hopefully, I'll get in. Now ain't that something? I ain't never seen no dolphin jump like that. Pretty cool, huh? When I blow this whistle, Mr. Mr. Dolphin jumps for me. Here, this is for you, Cloud. Good luck, Cloud! If you make it, we follow you. Whew, I'll hold on to the PHS for you. It'll break if it gets wet. Yeah, I'll jump with Mr. Dolphin. Here we go. Oh my sweet god. I'm dead. I just got electrocuted. Again, the most inane minigame on the planet, and I fail it somehow. Is there like a specific spot? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go near it, Luigi! I didn't go near it, Luigi! Oh, alright. First try. There's a lot of, uh, cloud climbing things in, in this, in this game. You notice that? I hear English. <laughs> New president, he's here, he's here, hurry, hurry! You! Hey, still dressed like that? Come here! Hey, rookie, can't you hear me? Come over here. Here, get in this room. You just full surprise! The new president. We are the Shinra Company. Custom. Are you guys... What, what the hell are you people doing? Begin the welcome parade. Uh, I don't... <laughs> what the hell was that soldier doing? Uh, I don't know. Are, are the points up? Well, it's so-so. Hmm. Better send that soldier something. Yeah, they sent me that from the TV. <laughs> what the fuck is this minigame? This is shit! <laughs> I don't understand this. Am I fired? What? You're fired! Send that soldier a bomb or something. Wow, they sent me a fucking grenade. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. I did it. Are the points up? They just shot up. We did it! Send that soldier something special. Receive 5,000 gil. What happened to the airship? The long-range airship is still being prepared. It should be ready in about three more days. <laughs> Even the Air Force's Gelnica? <laughs> hey! 
<laughs> punching me? Hey! Hey! Hey, you! You messing with the army? Who cares? You're too lazy. No break for you. Get over here. This is the military, soldier. Your orders for today are to send off President Rufus at the dock. I'll keep drilling you until it's time. I'll help, sir. Me too, sir. All right. Line up in order and show me your final pose. Today's command is formation. Remember it. Ready? Junin military send off begin. Why is Clud so fucking slow? Welcome. Just starting to get worried. You see, our sales are pretty bad today. <laughs> Why is Mario? Hey, guess who just bought two of them by accident? And guess who's loading state as well? All right. Now, who sells which shop sells condoms? Hey, yo, you want weapons? Reminds me of the dude the metal, from Metal Gear 4. I think something's going on outside, but we're too smashed to do anything. I like how I can go through this person. Hey, how could you do that? I don't know. You tell me. I remember when I got that one of 35 soldier, I thought it was one of 35 soldiers hidden throughout the world. In reality, it's just a toy that is a scale of... It's one thirty-fifth the size... I don't even know how to fucking... There's so much town here. There's a town under this town. There's stores everywhere. <coughs> What's this? What kind of place is this? I won't charge you for a smile. Buy a lot, cutie. Please go to the counter. What kind of store is this? What bothers me is that the girls make more than me. What are they selling here? Sex? They're selling... Are those... Are those anal plugs? Will... Will Smith... Will Smith... What is this about Will Smith? <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying... You know, you know... Um... Independence Day 2? You know, you know, you know... Will Smith is a good guy because he assumes everyone knows. And that's good. Oh, you want to know about After Earth? Hi, you know, we, we needed to make... We had a story we wanted to tell, so we got... Die. We got M. Night Shyamalan um, to, to make a story about how Jaden saves the world, you know, but his name ain't Jaden in the movie, you know. His name is, um, Clon 2. Nah, you know, it was a vehicle for my son to get famous. Alright, it's time. Here we go. Finally, today's been all about dolphins and fucking military precision. Very entertaining. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Here's a special bonus for you! A token of the president's kindness. Don't forget it! Once the word gets out that Sephiroth's here, Cloud and his friends will show up too. We'll crush them as soon as we find them. We can't have them get in our way. Leave it to me, sir! This guy just punch people just to... <laughs> Just, like, relieves some stress. He just punches people. If you didn't know this was a soldier, and I was like, what is this? I just showed you this picture. Someone that maybe never played video games. What would you think this was? A chair. No, it looks like a goblet. A blue robot goblet. Ugh. This is why I hate ships. Hey, Cloud. Hey, you have any tranquilizers? Thanks. Gross, this is bitter. Where are the others? I don't know, aren't they hiding somewhere around here? How should I know? Blech. Um, it's me, Aerith. H hey, Cloud, did you see the airship at Junin? Hey, do you think I could get on it? I'll take you someday. Keep hoping. Wow, I'm really looking forward to it. There's materia there. I need to get that materia. Got the materia! Yes, sir, everything's quiet, sir. But you know what? I really hate this uniform. Uniform soldiers war, I hate them all. They take away all the things and people you love. I wish they'd all disappear, right, Cloud? Yeah. You're right. Uh, yes, sir. I'll continue my watch, sir. Hee <laughs> hee. It's me. Not a key. I'm a little woozy, but I shouldn't get caught. <laughs> Humans only look at appearances anyway. Any way you look at it, I'd say I make a fine human being. Fine human being. Look at Red 13. I don't I should have just named him Red 13, to be honest. Look, look at his animation. He's got a tail, and he's just like hobbling along like Detective T pose from the other night. He's got slurp in his curp. Let me show you the erotic dance of my people. The human people. Hey Cloud, did you see Barrett? I hope he's not doing anything stupid. I talk to the one person to trigger another thing to happen. Oh, classic JRPGs, how I miss you. Please fondle my buttocks. 
real stealthy, Barrett. Look, Cloud, it's Rufus and Heidegger. They're this close, but we can't do a thing to them. Uh, mm, how can he go off laughing like that? Because of him. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. God, I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna settle things here and now. Emergency alert. Reports of a suspicious character found. Those not on detail, search the ship. Report when found. Damn, did they find us? Hey, that don't seem like us. Do they mean Tifa and the others? Get off your spiky butt and let's go, Cloud. Biggs. Wage. Jesse. Wage. <laughs> Biggs. Wage. <laughs> I don't even like Sephiroth anyway, and besides... <laughs> Biggs. Wage. I had fucking chocobo lore on this whole time. Tired. Just the perfect thing. Invisible alpha. Super drink for semen. Wow. This is the only real ecstasy you can get on this ship. Ha ha ha! Wow. Great. Thanks. Thanks for putting Cloud to sleep. Bell Bear says, I love how the effect for Quake is just sauce and beans emerging from underneath. <laughs> 15 milligram! 15 milligram! Milligram, milligram, milligram! Is it Sephiroth? He kept it together for quite a while. No, not Sephiroth. After a long sleep, the time... The time has come! Look, Cloud! Sephiroth, you're alive. Who are you? You don't remember me? I'm Cloud. Cloud. Sephiroth, what are you thinking? What are you doing? The time is now. What are you saying? He just rose through the ground. He can fly. And this this is his mama, Genova. Why is Cloud's attack, his first attack, called Braver? That's... You know, braver is what you are if if you become more brave. That's not necessarily the name of an attack where you jump up into the air and do a slash on your way down. Does it make Cloud braver? Beaver. Yes, that's the name of the attack, Beaver. Whoa, you best hurry and hide some wheel. Biggs. Wage. Damn, sure is hot here. But I sure feel better now that I can say goodbye to the sailor suit. Yo, listen up. Y'all be sure to mingle like regular folks here. Oh, too bad. I like Barrett's sailor suit. He looked so cute. What do you mean, cute? Barrett, why don't you use that sailor suit for pajamas? Right, Cloud? Ah, you look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. The hell's that supposed to mean? This happens to be the most comfortable. So sh- up. Puff, puff. Would you kindly hurry? The heat here is drying my nose. Yeah, mine too. It looks like my mane got messed up. Going to rest somewhere cool. Is he scooting his butt? I think I'll go swimming. Yeah, I would like to see that. I mean, what? What's that awful noise in my left ear? Someone's like speed fapping in the left ear after Tifa went to go swimming. I still hear it. I, I don't like it. Oh, it's that. Le Legos? Wh who built a life-size Lego chopper? Welcome to Coast of the Sun. It's in Spanish. What do you mean you, n you do not know Spanish? This is the world of Final Fantasy VII. There is Spanish in, in this game. Remember when we were in Midgar and there was Texas? Oh yeah, there was a Korean barbecue in the game too. Can't forget about that. So, all right, we know that somewhere in this world of Final Fantasy VII, some say that Spain exists. So does a Korean barbecue. So Korea exists and Texas. They're all in like a little island someplace. It's just Korea, Spain, and Texas all lumped together. I really like this town. You could walk around nearly naked and no one look twice at you. Hey, Mucky, it's me, your bubby. Welcome to Bar del Sol. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Guys, look away. 
I guess this is just what you come to expect from vine sauce, isn't it? Do you want drink? It's okay. You take time. Oh, Cloud. Look. Look at that. That girl in the bikini? Not a bad view. Surfing. Suntan. Excellent sign. Very useful. Hey, I want to go to Costa del Sol. This place seems like a lot of fun. Pool. There's like alcohol. There's Bubby. There's a beach. There's surfing. There's suntan. There's materia shop. There's soccer ball. <laughs> I think I broke red 13. I did get him, not Booker DeWitt. I didn't personally- oh my god. Glitched. I think I glitched her out. Is that a blue chocobo? It's a cockatolus. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Cock cockatolus. I just passed a guy in a black cloak back there. I just tried to tell him that it's dangerous up ahead and he ignored me. Sephiroth. Oh god, what a drag! Ugh. Guys, I have a question for you. Why is Barrett the best Final Fantasy character? He just... Full of surprise. Full! Spiky Hell. That's a great name for an attack, I think. I don't know how to master. I'm not really great at mixing. God damn it, the encounter rate is so fucking high over here. Fuck is this shit? Guys, what is this shit minigame? Wizard staff. Nice. Wizard. Wizard staff. That face on Yuffie. Look at that smile. She's so, so smiley. Oh, I remember this. The birds. Hey! Yow, what a rock. Yow, what a rock. Hey, baby! What was- what Barrett? What is that dialogue? You. Y you're- Hey, he's back! Well, looky here. Never thought I'd see your face again. Those people over there, they with you? Feel sorry for them. Hanging around, walking death sentence like Barrett. Got a lot of balls coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault North Coral turned into a garbage heap. You heard him. It's my fault. This town was destroyed. Barrett, what happened? Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean, used to? It ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. And it's my fault. All my fault. My hometown, Coral's always been a coal mining town. It's so dusty, but calm. It's so poor. Real small town. It's the first time I ever heard the words Mako Reactor since that time. What are we going to do? The only one against this is Dine. Definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing to talk about if you're thinking of throwing away our coal. But listen, Dine! No one uses coal nowadays. It's the sign of the times. Right. Everything is Mako now. Shinra Inc. will guarantee your livelihood once the Mako reactor is completed. That's how the Coral Reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. It happened when Dine and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything! There was an explosion at the reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people. Said it was done by a rebel faction. Never should have gone along with the building of that reactor. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why. That's why I get so pissed off. Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife, Mirna, too. Hey, everyone. If you want to go to the Gold Saucer, hurry and get on. Dine was my best friend. We was close ever since we was kids. I'm not sympathizing with Barrett. He never should have trusted the Shinra. By the way, this was, for me, when I was younger, one of the coolest fucking parts in the whole game. This cutscene... ...leading to the Gold Saucer... <laughs> ...it kind of blew me away. And this was one of the first things I've ever seen in this game. My friend, Chris, who had this game... ...I went over his house... And he was at this part of the game, the Gold Saucer, and I was just blown away by it. The 
This music is forever burned into my skull. Welcome to the gold saucer. My God, I can't save unless I have GP. Place is a fucking rip. Welcome to the gold saucer. Are you together? A single pass is 3,000, or you can purchase a lifetime pass for 30,000. I can't believe how much it, Oh, God, I can't even turn the game off. If you leave the gold saucer, your tickets will become invalid. Here at the gold saucer, there are many places where you must pay with GP. Just think of GP as money that... Uh, as money that you can only use here at the gold saucer. GP can only be redeemed at games in Wonder Square and at the Chocobo races. Your GP limit is 10,000, so please be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. You know, if there was another Final Fantasy game, or Final Fantasy VII, I wouldn't mind a Gold Saucer compilation of minigames. You know, you can explore in third person. It's a full Gold Saucer that you can explore. Tons of new minigames. I would actually enjoy that. Wow, let's have fun. Hey, Barrett, cheer up. I ain't in no cheery mood, so just leave me alone. We're gonna go play. So play! Mess around? Fuck! Don't forget we're after Sephiroth! I think he's mad. How did Barrett know to jump in that tube? Welcome. Thank you for coming to the ghost hotel. Oh. Reservations. Please step up to the counter. Oh. Look at the ghost guests. It's our most popular employee, Mr. Hangman. Welcome. Five GP a night. Oh, fuck. I don't have any GP. Sp speed. Hey, you! What are you looking so down for? How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future, a happy future. Oh, but don't hold it against me if it's not a great prediction. Oh, so sorry. I'm a fortune-telling machine. The name's, uh... Catch it! You can... only read the future? Are you kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything! Then can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, right? Okay, here goes. Ordinary luck. It will be an act of fortune. Give into the goodwill of others and something big will happen after summer. Wait, what? What's this? Huh? Ah, uh, let me try again. Be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is blue. Oh, wait, give, give me, give me another chance. Wait, let me try it again. What the? What? What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. I, I don't know if it's good or bad. First time I ever got something like this. Then, uh, shall we? As a fortune teller, I can't help but think about this. If I don't see what it leads to, I won't be able to relax. That's why I'm going with you. I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Hey. Uh. Uh, well... Now, now I have a, a cat on a giant moogle thing. Wonder Square game. Okay, then we gotta win 5 GP someplace. And, and that way I can actually fucking save my game. You win. Receive 2 GP. Not fast enough, man. Not fast enough. Super dunk. Oh, there goes 200 G uh, gil. Goodbye, Gil. Wonder Catcher. Received Phoenix down. Oh. Oh god, Mog House, please no. No Mog House, ever. 3D Battler. It's luck. It's just all random. And I'm not doing all that great, am I? Got my ass beat. Did I win anything? Oh, that was beans. So, yeah, my first exposure to this game was in 7th grade, maybe? 6 or 7 sounds about right. And, um, it was at my friend Chris's house. He was rich. I went over his house, and he had the game on the big screen TV. And he was at the Gold Saucer. And he was doing the bike race and the chocobo race and some of the mini games here. This was the first time I had seen the game in motion. And the mini games looked really cool, and I thought the graphics were good. <laughs> yep, I thought these graphics were good. Then... He actually, like, got into some fights and showed me, like, the world map and stuff. I had to get it. I just had to. I don't know why. I got a PlayStation just for this game. And the PlayStation obviously was worth it. Metal Gear Solid was my favorite game for a little while. 
There were so many good games on the PS1. Yeah, these graphics were really good back then, but I mean, then again, the N64 was slightly more powerful, and that system, I had an N64, and that some of those games looked better than this. Receive 10 GP and a speed source. All right, now we can go to the spooky house and save. Vinny, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important are the graphics in a game? I like when a game is aesthetically pleasing, but when I was younger, graphics meant a lot because it was about the power of the system and, and the way the game looked. You know, it was so cool, it looks, it looks so realistic and so good. Now, I care less, but I do like when a game runs at a solid, consistent speed. Like, I like when the frame rates are fairly consistent. If the aesthetics are good, great. Graphics don't have to be powerful. So they're not as important. Uh, uh, uh enjoy, uh, you stay. Where's the save point? There's gotta be a save point here. There's a spook shop. Uh, oh, did you see that, guys? I just paid the GP. Did you see that? I paid the GP, then the, then I moved off of it, and it ate my 5 GP. So I guess I can't save. I paid the GP and moved a quarter of an inch. A, a quarter of a fucking inch. Hang on. Well, guess what? Um, I saved. Why are there so many, like, like, half-naked wrestlers around in Final Fantasy VII? I'm just realizing this now. Hey, boy. Boy, how is it? You having fun? Hmm, so you are having fun. Well, good. Good for you, boy. My name's Cloud, and stop calling me boy. Hmm, me? I'm the owner of the gold saucer. The name's Dio. Oh, that's why he's... <laughs> That's why he's half naked. He owns the place. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Just call me Dio. By the way, boy, do you know what a black materia is? Well, a while back, a boy your age came in and asked me if I had the black materia. I thought you might know who he was, seeing as you're both about the same age. Did he happen to have a black cape? Why, yes. Yes, indeed. And a tattoo on his hand that said one. Where did he go? I have no idea. I am Dio. Well then, I say stop by the battle arena if you'd like, boy. Probably like it. Many of my collections are on display there. Ah, 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 ah. So guys, where's the first location I should be going, aside from talking to this large chocobo? Welcome to the gold saucer! Welcome to the chocobo racing! Why did this game not have many textures? Was this like before Square figured out how to put textures on PlayStation games? I thought these graphics were amazing. Uh, for the time, they were, but, I mean, Jesus. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I think that's a clam. Those are clearly Olympic torches. Yahoo! Rainbow Vomit Corridor. Okay, we got Rainbow Vomit Corridor. What's the next one? Bridge? Okay, that's a bridge. Th that man's about to die. He's dead. Uh, now we're in space. Look at number two. Number two is gonna blow his load. There's not gonna be any energy left for the rest of the race, but... What's the nurse worst thing to name your child? Scalab. Kayak man. Dead. Le Joel. Guys, Le Joel. Put on a really unusual show here. It's not today. Come back again sometime. Unusual. I want to see Kate Sith get it on with a chocobo. Otherwise, I'm not coming. Hmm. Did Sephiroth do this? No. It's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. A man with a gun. On his arm. Hold it right there and stay quiet. Oh. Did you guys do this? No. No, it wasn't us. Hurry and run. It's gonna get ugly. Hey. Hold them. That's as far as you go. Wait. Listen to... Yes. Hey. Pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. What? Do it. Yes. That guy doesn't have any other dialogue. Just yes. Where are we? A desert prison. Coral prison. Desert prison. That's what I just said, asshole! I heard that once you get in, you, you never get out. But there is one special exception. Hey, Barrett, stay back. This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Jess. Every fucking time it makes me laugh. Whew. Is that one of your friends? She looks dangerous. Oh, racial profiling by Kate Sith over here. Whitey. Wage. Jesse. Wage. Wage. Empty. Guys, it's empty. Danger. High voltage. When we touch! When we kiss! Whose bones are these? Ha ha ha. 
Why is this creep following me? These guys only tell lies. Not one of them will tell you the truth. Just talk with them a couple of times and you'll get sick of them. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. This place is heaven. Man with a gun on his arm. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Once out in the desert, stay still and don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. There's no way you'll ever see a mysterious chocobo carriage. No way. No way. No way. This elevator will take you to the top, but you gotta be picked as a chocobo racer first. Chocobo slave. Congratulations, you just found slave materia. Didn't I tell you not to come here? <laughs> Didn't want none of you to get involved. I heard there were murders at the battle arena. And they're done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another. Uh, another man that got a gun on his. Grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. I remember. I was on my way home from visiting the Mako reactor. Barrett, dine! Come quick! The village is being attacked! It's Shinra soldiers! What? What the hell happened? Hey, Barrett, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's get back to the village. Barrett, dine! Protect the village! Ah. Hmm. Oh, man! Come on, Barrett, we gotta hurry! Kurg! These Shinra soldiers are fucking the worst shots I've ever seen. He's just standing still. What the hell? You can shoot all day and never hit them with aim like that. Shut up! Stop playing around and cover me! It's a very specific aim. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra, who took everything away. <laughs> He's got a gun on his arm. You know, when I... I remember when I first saw the promotional art of this game, I was like, what the f... What is this guy got a big fucking chain gun sticking out of his arm? I thought it was so silly, and now I just accept it. Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me, but his was the left arm. Must heal dog. <laughs> dog. Should have just named the Red 13 Dog. This is the gold source's garbage dump, and that makes you, that makes all of you scrubs. He just called us scrubs. It's weird when your house is so old, it just makes its own noises. Fucking ghost house I live in. I'm so used to, like, weird noises, and like, you know, the fucking, we have oil heat for God knows what reason. It's like 70 years ago, that would have been fine. It sucks. It sucks, and it's always fucking broken. There's always some problem with it, and it just ends up costing money, and it's shit, but it's just creaky noises. There could be a real ghost, and I wouldn't know to bust, because I think- I'd think it was the house. Or a burgle- a burgle, a hamburglar, could show up and be very quiet, and then I'd have to stab him in the face with my fist. It would be funny if, like, someone's, like, playing a fucking, like, tambourine and a kick drum in my room. I'm just like, it's the house. But I also, I, I sleep with, um, I sleep with white noise because of the house noises. Also because I have some noisy kid neighbors. I don't know why I said it like that. Like my cousin, Vin, custom, come to the club. The club is called Noisy Kid Neighbors. Done. Is that you? you know, that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I always hoped I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. What's that? I hear her voice. Eleanor's voice. Begging me not to hate your rotten guts. I know it was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. What are you doing in a place like this? Why you want to kill those that ain't even involved? Why? Why? The hell do you care for? All the people killed go and understand why? Are the people of Coral gonna understand just hearing Shimra's excuses? I don't care what the reason is. All they give us are artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. Edgy, edgy, edgy. Because I want to destroy everything. The people of the city. The city itself. The whole world. Barrett just got shot three times. I got nothing left in this world. Coral, Eleanor, Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, all right? All right, Barrett. I guess that means you and I gotta fight. What do you mean?
How did you arrive at this conclusion, Dine? This this educated and thrilling supposition of Marlene's alive equals me and Barrett got a fight. So he lost everything and he's just totally, you know, like, fuck everything. I, I get it. I mean, you know, chaos. Barrett at least is able to channel his anger into fighting the Shinra. This guy's just an asshole. Is that what a Molotov cocktail looks like? Uh, a flurry of lasers? Ugh. I want to destroy everything. EVERYTHING! This crazy world. Even me. Damn, this fucking writing, this edge. It's cutting me right now. Barrett, don't make... Don't ever make Marlene cry. Don? Don! I guess you could say... Dine, dine. Stupid. Dine. Me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't be able to carry Marlene either. Oh! Uh! Oh! Someone just made the joke. Tonight, he dines in hell. Which is perfect on multiple levels. I have to say that is absolutely flawless as a joke. Except it's just kind of old May May status, sadly, but it works! Don didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? Chocoboos. Mako reactor outside of Midgard means only one thing. Nothing else out there. All we hear is Radio Gun Gaga, Radio Gun Goo Goo, Radio Gun Gaga. I wanna get Aqualung. Who's got Aqualung? This what, motherfucker? <laughs> oh my god, I can't speak. I can't read. I, I would like to apologize. I would like to apologize. Oh shit, he used aqua. Long. Ah. Please work. Please work. Kill him. Sand donuts. Gista. Oh, look, it's a fucking Gista beach plug. Uh, butt plug. Uh, butt plug? They were called butt plugs. I thought they were butt plugs. What does Matra Magic mean, guys? Why is Matra Magic a translation that turns into me shooting missiles out of my ass? Uh, butt plug. M magic missile. I, I want to use magic missile. They need to control the butt plugs real quick. The French automotive and aerospace company Matra developed the infrared-seeking R550 missile for use of the Assault Mirage series of tactical fighter jets. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, big guard. Uh, house. Crash car into house. Like, really dumb. One's called Fuck. The other one's called Roid Rage. The other one's about AIDS. Um, you know, the guys that help you. In your home, if you're rich, AIDS. Is someone there? Hey. Rude. Who do you like? Tifa. Poor Elena. She... You... No. She liked Song. But Song likes that ancient. That's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or don't like it, but Song is indifferent. Ah, oh, oh no. They're here! They're really here! We may be retreating, but... We're still victorious. Oh, uh, look at the time. Whoops, gotta go. They followed us. There weren't any signs of it. That means... A spy, maybe? No. No way. I don't even want to think that there's a spy. I trust everyone. Sure about that? Like... Let's think about who is... I don't know. Who don't who don't we know too well? May, maybe someone spying on us from the Gold Saucer? Maybe, like, Dio? Maybe someone from the Gold Saucer? Maybe the Chocobo Lady? Could it be the Scar? Frogs. We're, we're fighting frogs. Oh, Cloud is a frog. I'm sorry. That song fucking blows. So Barrett is a frog and he's asleep. Look at these motherfuckers. Look at them bouncing. Oh, look at this. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This guy's the best enemy. I said that other one was the best enemy, but this is the best enemy. Definitely. Tank Ceratops. Has science gone too far? Yes. Stop hitting yourself. I love Dinosaur Tank. Big, 
large, huge materia. An ultimate weapon. The perfect weapon. Which is, what are the Shinra up to? Big, large, McFuck huge. Strong, McSteak knife. Swole men. Lesnar. Lung, Lung Krongo. If John Cena paid you one million dollars to be a juggalo for a day, would you do it? Have you, we, have we run out of questions? Are there no questions left? Because I've gotten them all, I think. And that one is just, that, that's, that's the last one. Congratulations, you just asked me the last question. Um, the answer is for one day and the makeup comes off, yes. I was at Kohl's today. I had to buy a few things. First of all, shopping for jeans is 100% the worst thing ever. And also, what made me hate it even more, you know what really, really made me hate it? Shitty pop music. Grown men crying because a woman doesn't love them over the radio. And then women that sound pretty similar to each other vocally, just talking about boys. There's that fucking song I hate. Oh my god, what have I done? I'm a shit. And it's like, I'm now walking around Coles angry because I can't get the jeans I want and because the worst pop music in the world. There's gonna be a ukulele, there's gonna be some bright cheery like bells. And there's gonna be a guy who sounds like this, baby, I love you! Who listens to this? Who's buying this music? Um, my friend Tyler and I, whenever we, we talk about RPGs or Final Fantasy VII, he looks at me with a stern face and he goes... Who here is older than 30? No, 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 here, here's a good one. Who here is older than 40 that watches these streams? There's no shame in it, by the way, I'm just curious. I know there's a few of you, at least. Video games have been around for a long time. ACTS says I'm 48, 58. I don't know if, I mean, I'll take your word for it. So there's two. I mean, someone said I'm 69. Another person said I'm 69. Everyone's saying they're 69. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, there's probably a few people here who are over 40. Why the hell not, man? Video games are great. I'm so happy that as I get older, I have video games as a hobby. Because I look at, like... Like, my, my grandmother was watching some fucking trash reality TV, and it was just this. Mother- Mother- You fuck- It's- You are fucking- Pregnant, okay? You're disgusting. You fucking don't wear your panties. Why would you want to watch someone else's problems? Isn't there something better you could do with your time and your life? I am home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on, say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki. Yeah, I mean, that's what we've been calling him the whole time. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Yes, you lied. That is something that is not treated lightly here in Cosmo Canyon. Oh. Uh, welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? No. Good. Okay, let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Woo! Oh my god. Umga. Welcome to Shildra Inn. Sounds a bit like Shinra, but okay, that's fine. Shil. Turtles Paradise number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop into Turtles Paradise. This is my grandfather, Bugen. He is incredible. He knows everything. His name is amazing. Oh, 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 oh. I hear that you looked after Nanaki a bit. Nanaki's still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather. I'm 48. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would only be equivalent to say that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. To grow up to be able to protect you in the village. Just floating. It's no problem, just floating around. When it's time for this planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies. Oh, it may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. What was that? Hmm, that was the scream from this planet. As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? The planet does sound like a sad whale. What? Cloud, you found me. This is a very intimate moment, Cloud. But I want you to know, I don't mind if you look. You're my boy, Cloud. I loved you <laughs> since the moment I saw you. Mind-numbing graphics for 97. But yeah, farts, that'll, that's a good, good source of energy. Advent Children made no fucking sense. It's awful. Pretty graphics, it was okay. Not really, it was okay. 
It was bad. I didn't mind it. Never seen it. No, bad movie. Bad, decent, dull as shit. Okay at best. Yeah. Yeah, I want to bring, um, Squall. Yeah, Cypher's cool. Yeah, I want to bring Magus. His name sounds like Maggots. I like him. He's good. Are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. You want an old man like me should go freight first? You want an old man like me should go first. You want... I'll be right behind you! These PS1 era textures. They're so good though, aren't they? It's like, I don't even know what I'm looking at, really. Is it like sludge? Is it green? It's green! It's Kool-Aid! Ecto cooler. Please shit on my dreams. We still have far to go. Ho ho ho. What does D blow stand for? What 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 could that D stand for? You know when D blow? Da blow. Dia it's Diablo, clearly. What would an in real life death blow look like? Did you ever see those videos? The YouTube prankers go up to guys in the hood? and they say inappropriate things to them to get them riled up. When they punch those YouTubers in the head, that's like, a, that's the D-blow. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank, bro. It was just a prank, bro. It was just a prank, bro. Trying to steal someone's wallet. It's just a prank, bro. Dress up as a quote unquote ghost. Nah, bro, I'm a ghost. You're, you're a ghost. Um, would your first three initials begin with K? Um, cause if so, then yeah, you did a good job as a ghost. You look like a good, very good ghost. It's just a prank, bro! It's just a prank, bro! It's just a, it's just a, it's just a prank, bro! You saw one of them where they're getting signatures to reinstate slavery. Wow. And these people are still alive. That's the D-blow. Yeah, Barrett. Taking one for the team. I don't, I usually do interviews with women unless I fornicate with them. It's like, all right, Mike, what the fuck are you talking about? Like stagnant air. This can't be. Look at that. <laughs> that graphics, guys. That graphics. Grew up in the spotlight. Death. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived. Nanaki. You have grown strong, too. Come, I have something I want to show you right over here. The warrior fought against the G. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. Look, Nanaki. Look at your father. At the warrior, Sato. That... That's Sato. Sato continued to fight the G-Tribe here to protect this canyon. Even after the G's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone, someone needs to get him a super soft. They did it in Final Fantasy VII, or at nine rather. I am Nanaki of Kashmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Sato. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. Sato, father. Of course, I teared up a little bit. I didn't actually shed a physical tear. I w I wouldn't mind. I would tell you if I did. However, I'd be lying if I said I didn't shed an internal tear. No, 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 I cried them internally. They, they went, like, back into my skull. So, like, they're real, but they're just internal. <laughs> I'll be okay. I don't need to see a doctor. It's been, it's been happening for years. Whoa, that's insane. Barrett got his groove back. My friend Mike thinks your name is uh, Brink Springsteen. He was like, what? What? That is my name. Many yucks were had. Many yucks. Vin, you gotta come to my con. It's called Mango Con. We celebrate all kinds of mangoes and video game. Vin, you gotta come to my basement con. Oh, what's basement con? It's in my basement. It's great. I've got Smash Brothers, I've got iced tea, and I've got a bean bag. Well, it's 
ripped on the side and some of the beans have fallen out. But don't worry, my dog Scruffles eats them. You gotta come. I know at least one person aside from myself who wants to meet you. Oh, you mean Ice Tea the rapper is gonna be at your convention? No, 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 I have Ice Tea. Like, oh, the, the drink? Yeah, it's gonna be great. I even got Hot Pockets. Oh, like that Hot Pocket truck at PAX? No, I, I have like a few Hot Pockets, like, that have been in the freezer for a few months. But they're gonna be okay. Just, we'll just eat them. Oh, I see where I have to go now. I couldn't tell because the graphics were too good. You said the whole town burnt down, right? Yeah. I remember the intense heat of the flames. We... Union. Union. Must go. Reunion. Must get it. Bring to that very wrath. And become one. With Sephiroth. Where are you? Great Sephiroth. What is it? I want to hear your story. I lived in this house until I was 14. No, but this town was burned down. Are you sick saying those things? Get out of here! Nice town, huh? We've been in business here for a long time. You're lying. Do you have anything to do with this town? How about being born and raised here? I was here until I was 14 and I don't remember you. It's, it's not nice to lie. So, not only is the town intact, and there's these weird fucking creepy people, but no one remembers who Cloud is, and they don't know anything about the place being burned down. How's that for creepy? I remember Sephiroth was standing right here. He was so cool. His flowing hair, his black cape, his muscular frame, his eyes gleaming, and it was in that moment that things inside me had awakened. Things that I had never felt before. I learned then that I wanted to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> oh, he's calling. Sephiroth is calling. <laughs> Dorky face. Now guys, what are these things called? Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't they called dickies? Like, you know, the things that you play with the racket? It has a specific name. Shuttlecocks. Yeah, shuttlecocks. Or birdies? Bur birdies. Someone just said something. I used to my- with my uncle's dickies in the closet when I was a kid. I am so happy you didn't include the rest of that sentence. No, I don't got this. Fail. Success. Yep, this is success. This- you guys want to see the face of success? I just did a save state because I forgot to save. I hear this boss is- is brutal. This fucking guy. Oh, he's red. Oh, red is rage mode, I think, right? Red is- is really tough. We're gonna need... Yeah, we're gonna need another big guard. There's a really horrible noise. Oh, look! That wasn't that bad. Nibelheim. N nibble N Nibble Gungaga Nibelheim Gungaga What- what is with the names? I wear pants made out of weed Guys, we're going to basement con You ready? They've got iced tea The wrapper Oh wait, no, I mean the beverage To wake me from the night- oh god, the edge Who is it? Never seen you before You must leave He's in a coffin <laughs> You were having a nightmare I woke you up You ought to be thanking me a nightmare? My long sleep has given me time to atone. I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. Like you said, this mansion's the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream. It's for real. Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth? You know Sephiroth? You know Sephiroth? Sorry, I cannot speak. Hey, you lying, white-faced! Hearing your stories has added upon me yet another sin. More nightmares shall come to me now, more than I previously had! So many edge! I am my own monster! Ugh. Ugh. At least tell us your name. I was with the Shinra Manufacturing Department in Administrative Research, otherwise known as... The Turks. I'm not renaming him Vinny. I like Vincent. And that's my real name, that's on my birth certificate, you know. So you guys have been calling me Vinny. So I always kind of loved this character, just for having my name. It made me- believe it or not, this name- th this character made me appreciate my name a little bit more. Johnny Depp should play Vincent in the live-action Final Fantasy VII movie. Steve Buscemi can play Cloud. You were also with Shinra. Then do you know- LUCRETIA!
the woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mom? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. I pronounce it that way, not Lucretia! She was an assistant to Professor Gast of the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucretia. Human experiment? I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. That why you started sleeping in a box? Give me a break! Let me sleep. Let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep, let me sleep! Sephiroth. Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. Genova, a calamity from the skies? You mean she wasn't an ancient? Well, I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nebel. If you wish to find out, then follow. He's so loaded with materia, he could just throw it at Cloud as a weapon and not use it. Like, literally just throw it at him and hope to hurt him with the physical object. Wait. If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? To know. But we're after him and Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucrezia! It's great. Oh, whoops. Well, I guess Vincent's now a fucking were beast. Vincent, in this game, he, he like wants to be a real vampire, but he's not. He just tells everyone he is. Um, um, I, they're, they don't want, they told me I'm not a vampire. Then, shut up. You're not a real vampire. He's a were, a werepire, a, a werewolf vampire. What if vampires had their own city? Would the biggest building in their city be called the Vampire State Building? I'll see myself out later. See you guys. Someone. I want to go on the wild ride again. I forgot the ladder. Oh, shit. So I can't get back up. Shit. I let Barrett die. I'm sorry, Barrett. I, I tried to take the easy way out. His groove was eliminated. So now I have to climb that whole mountain to get what's in that treasure chest. Chat, what's in that treasure chest? I figured someone would be obsessive enough to know, but I'm getting a lot of weird answers like dead corpse, tits, the meaning of life, the most important item in the game, the tits. Oh, that attack! That, that move! I mean, oh my god. Oh my god, please stop. Hell combo. Oh, we need trine, not hell combo. Trine! I got big guard up. I should survive this. We're good. We got it. I don't really love Vincent's limit break. It's semi-powerful. It can be. But it's the it's random. I mean it's pretty much like oh come on! Look at what Vincent is doing. Vincent, I hate you. Shut it down, you donkey! Oh god, you're healing him! Is there a way to bring him back? Is there a way to bring him back? We must kill Vincent. Barrett, no! Barrett's stepping in! You gotta go, Vincent. No! Oh, fuck, another trine? He's dead. The menace has been killed, finally. Oh, this battle sucks. God. Just, just making this end. What if Vincent just used Beast Flare out of nowhere? Just for no reason. Is Barrett dead? Yeah, Barrett's dead. Okay, right, or at least we're we're alive. It's just he keeps. Oh my god, he keeps recovering faster than I can attack him. I think we got this now. We'll try and even work on him. Oh, we got it. We got it. Holy shit! Mini Cthulhu, Mini Cthulhu alien. All right, Vincent. Now's your chance. Let him rip. He wants to be a beast so bad. He wants to unleash the beast. Look how bad he wanted that. You know, when I first played this game, I, I kind of remember liking Vincent's Limit Break. But now I'm... 
<laughs> he just wants to unleash the beast. If he doesn't unleash the beast, then he is not a happy man. Well, he never is, so never mind. So you've got Gungaga, Nibelheim, and the name of this town is Rocket Town. Why is this place so fucking dark? Gun is a man's weapon, ain't nothing else it'll do. This guy's in the shitter. I'm in here. Uh, uh, uh. I'm in here. Erg. P er, arg. I get so impressed every time I look at it. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby, but out of appreciation, let me give you this. God, I remember that. I remember that old man just randomly giving me a fucking sword. My job's to make everyone laugh all over the world. You're doing a great job at it. You, you made precisely zero people laugh today. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. Shinra always keep the most useful things to themselves. Let's steal it! Um, may I help you? If you would like to use it, please ask, ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara, and what are your names? I'm Barrett of Avalanche. Barrett, just fucking without any scruples whatsoever, just telling, Oh, I'm an Avalanche! A known terrorist organization in which propaganda and lies have been spread against, in which people think we've been murdering and killing people. But I'm an Avalanche. Probably the best thing to tell this potential Shinra person. She's wearing a lab coat, she's living in the house where there's a Shinra plane. I'll tell everyone. And Vincent's like, ugh. I like this man's home. It's got a nice antique car. Uh, an AK-47 on a crate. Two rifles on the wall. Um, if I don't know what that is, but it looks like it could go up someone's butt and do some severe rectal damage. So whoever lives here, I'm I'm very pleased to meet their acquaintance. 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 Let's go in and meet their acquaintance. Captain. I'm the captain. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain though. But because of that dumbass Shara, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. Money, moolah, dinero. Just had a dream of going to space. I mean, I love space too. Not that I would necessarily want to ride a fucking rusted experimental rocket fueled by the power of AIDS and Grayskull. Fuck! Shara, what are you, blind? We got guests! Get some tea! Shit! Sit your ass down in that chair and drink your goddamn tea! Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. In the moon, and get tired waiting around for your ass. Don't take so much time checking out that fucking oxygen tank. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. Uh, engine pressure rising. Channel number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who is the little shit? Hey! God damn it! Who the fuck is still in there? You stupid little fuck! It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid. Forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I... What am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Man, the moon, outer space, my dreams. Ignite engine. Shit. It really is a wonder it didn't fall over any more than that. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. Shara, you still haven't served him tea? Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? Hey, hey. Long time no see. So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer. So? When's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey. I don't know. The president's outside. Why don't you ask him? Fuck. Good for nothing fat. Fuck. Don't say fat! Hey, hey, tea! I have some too, with lots of sugar and honey and- Oh, don't forget the lard. Hey, hey uh, have we met before? Hey, is the tea ready yet? Plenty of sugar and honey and oh yeah, don't forget the lard too. Lard tea, sounds delicious. What? 
You got me excited for nothing? Then what'd you come here for? I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. Fuck. First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco. Shimmer took outer space away from me. Now you want to take the sky away from me too? Uh, excuse me. This way. You wanted to use the tiny Bronco, right? I believe Palmer is going to take it. Why don't you talk to him? Hmm. Why do I have to do this? I'm the head of the space program. We'll be taking that tiny Bronco. Oh, I've seen you somewhere before. I know, the Shinra building. When the president was killed. No, S -s security! Well, why does he shuffle? Like, why, why is his attack stance a dance? Odin is going to destroy the tiny Bronco in the process. Well, that's okay. Pretty fucking cool. Yeah, the attacks are shit compared to the magic. <laughs> like, why? Where did it come from? Where did said truck come from? And can I turn it into a frog? It's not going to stop. It's not moving right now. Forget it. Get in. Now it's moving. Crackles. 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 The fucking silenced pistol noise from Goldeneye. Shit! The tail's been hit! Emergency landing. This is gonna be a big splash. Hold on to your drawers and don't piss at him! She won't fly anymore. Can we use it as a boat? Fuck, do whatever you want! Sid, what are you gonna do now? Dunno. I'm history with the Shinra. I've given up on the town. What are you guys gonna do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. Ah, what the hell? Sign me up! Glad to be aboard, numbskulls! Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against the Shinra nowadays has gotta be a numbskull. I like it! Using a plane as a boat. Final Fantasy VII. Best. Logic. Some powerful shit in there. In that cave. If only there was some kind of, like, awesome glitch that I could take advantage of just to get into that cave. Just for one second. Like a little skip glitch. Little chocobo tracks. That's, that's how you get there. That little cave. You gotta get to them cho chocobo tracks. <laughs> chocobo tracks. Welcome to Chocobo Jacks. How can I help you? Chocobo Jacks sounds like a delicious breakfast cereal. It could be. In Australia. I like how there's just an F-16. Just a crashed F-16. Can we- can we talk about this for a minute? How they've managed to develop an F-16, and they need SIDS, like, shitty little fucking biplane. This, my friends, is an F-16. It's got one tail. This is an F-14. These things still amaze me, fighter jets. Like, the fact that we even, as a species, had to develop these blows my mind. I'm still I'm amazed by this. How did I not like think about this as a child? That in the world of fire, maybe this was just a prefab that they got from someplace. They're like, well, we need to put something here in Bone Village. It's too bony and not enough modern. Hey, hey, we found this fucking F-14 prefab. I like how Cloud goes from using that giant fucking buster sword that makes no logical sense whatsoever to this one. Which is actually stronger than that. But later on you get swords that are also the size of Cloud's entire body. Oh, what's this? Ah, yes! Yes. Maximum penis. Maximum penis thrust action. So, who else is excited for E3 this year, guys? What is one title you want to see at E3 more than anything else. What's your dream game? Fallout 4. Doom 4? Star Fox? 
Dark Cloud 3, that would be interesting to see. Luigi's Mansion 3. New Metroid, well, of course. Of course, we all want to see a new Metroid, I think. Project Ukulele. New Mario game with a new formula. That would be cool. Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> a new Chrono title. <laughs> not gonna happen. See? My voice, my voice crack. That proves that it's not gonna happen. I love how much care went into the basketball physics. Here we go. Mog house. This is Mog's house. This is Mog Forest on Mount Mog. The beginning of another day in the life of a Mog. This year, Mog is Pipa Popupo years old. That's 28 in human years. He's at that age when he should be looking for a mate. But before Mog can become an adult, he first needs to learn how to fly. Eat your nut. Eat your f eat your nut. This is a mini game, guys. He did it. He's flying. Now we can finally become a full-fledged mog. And now we can watch the mog take a mate under his immense girth. Oh, what's this? Here comes a female mog. Seems he likes her too. Now, will mog be able to fly gracefully in front of her? Help him out with a few Cooper nits. Hey, if this doesn't work out, at least, you know, Mog can get on his smartphone and use Moogle Tinder. He's flying! Mog was able to do it! This is the best minigame ever. I feel so accomplished. She must have fallen for his graceful flying frame. Sometime later. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah, fuck. I hope you enjoyed the fucking minigame. Final Fantasy VII's got the best fucking minigames you've ever fucking seen. Merk. Hope you liked it. This creepy motherfucker behind you staring at your fucking fat. <laughs> what? Where's the GP? Don't you get GP for this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I doing it again? Oh. Oh! 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 What have I done? I can't- how do you- how do you exit? How do you exit? I thought you got 30 GP for this. You're dead. Minigame is over now. You like the music? Good! Yeah, it's awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Fast! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. You gotta talk to the person. Am I okay? Am I okay? No! No, I'm not okay. I just played Mog's Forest at 3 a.m. I'm tired. I don't understand anything about life anymore. And here we go. Here's the music. <laughs> it begins yet again. What is that? That sounds like a chocobo having sex. Oh, God. This with an Oculus Rift, and I'd be dead. I'd be... The, the cops would find me in a pool of my own urine the next morning from how realistic it was. It's too real! Even though this looks like just rudimentary po polygons, with an Oculus Rift, this would be too real. Uh, uh, enjoy uh, your stay. Uh, Dear, it's the Keystone. King Bubby, here he is. Oh shit, is that a big daddy in the background? Long time no see, my boy. Hmm, you like that, huh? Can you uh, let me borrow this? <laughs> Sorry, but it's not for rent, puppy. Hmm. Since you've been good to me in the past, I can let you have it on one condition. One condition? Bubby. Hi, puppy. Of course. Really? Something like that is misspelled? Of course! Minimum. Babby Cloud. Babby Bubby Cloud. Off course. You know what makes me crazy about that? Like, a lot of kids probably learn to read. Of, of course, brother! <sighs> Make a hole in the clude. Make a hole in the clude. Clude. Become a squeeze shaped clude. No! <laughs> so, how are you guys? Good? This is as good a time as any. 
good a time as any to talk to you. Oh, I didn't reset. That's the best you can do. Well, a promise is a pro. I forgot how to do his voice already. Um, I got the keystone. I could just put the germ ring on. Jern. J E R N. Jern. <laughs> Not gonna work, guys. <laughs> I have the Jern ring. I'm eating, uh, Fuck with that. <laughs> Accessory is broken. You fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think high school was particularly the best time of my life, but it was not great. It's like, not the best time of your life. I always heard that. You're gonna love it. Cherish these years. Cherish the years. And then it was over, and I was like, it was, it was, I, I didn't really care for it, but I didn't hate it. So what, what, what did I cherish? I had a bunch of underpaid, angry, unsexed people telling me what to do and how to learn about numbers going into other numbers. Uh, Dino Tank doesn't want to die. Oh, well, no, I'm dead. Tissue. Wipe the tears away, asshole. That's what they just told me. Talk to the green pumpkin. Amazing. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, the tram is out of order right now. So? I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully repaired. What's wrong? Uh, too bad. It happens, though. Fucking Kate Sith, get out of here. I know. Let's stay at the hotel. They know me here. I'll go talk to them. We don't usually get the chance to go to be together like this, huh? Cloud, how about it? Can you tell us what's happened so far? I don't really know what's going on because I wasn't here in the beginning. Yeah, I'm all for it. I've been here since the beginning. I still don't know what the hell's going on either. Cloud, the hell's going on? Come on, tell us. We are going after Sephiroth. Sephiroth must be in search of the promised land. A land full of Mako energy, or at least that's what the Shinra believe. The Cetras return to the promised land. A land that promises boundless happiness. Cetra? Is that some kind of disease? Come on, Barrett, you know it's not. I heard from Dio that a man in a black cape was looking for the black materia. I don't even know what the black cape is. How many men with black capes and number tattoos are there? You know, of course. My tattoo is number 13. Hojo put it on me. Everything else is just war scars, but the number was done by Hojo. So, there are at least 13. I think Hojo did something to those men in the black capes. I don't know what it has to do with Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should just go after Sephiroth himself. Yeah, me too. This is all just too damn confusing. Barrett speaking for the audience. The whole time, these ghosts just having a tea party. You want to go on a date? What? A date? Or haven't you ever gone on one? Oh well, come on, let's go. Hey. Oh, I wanted to go out with Barrett. Fuck! Tonight's enchantment night. All the attractions are free! How about it, you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square. Could you imagine living your whole life in the gold saucer? Every day is just magic and whimsical, like craziness. What would life be after like 30 years? You would lose touch with everything. This song, all day, every day. Oh! You must be the legendary hero, Alfred! I know in my soul. Please, please, save Princess Rosa. Now, please talk to the king! Spin! Oh, legendary hero, Alfred! You have come to save my beloved Rosa! But you can't defeat the evil, dra evil dragon king now! Talk to the one who can help you! I am the Great Wizard Vorman! What do you wish to know? Oh, what's going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! You dare ignore the evil Dragon King? Rah! I am the evil Dragon King, Vavados! I have not harmed the princess. I have been expecting you! Please help me, legendary hero! Psst, like that? Who is your enemy? Say it. Oh, come on! No more! I'm losing it. My voices, I'm losing them. Stop it, Cloud. What are you doing? Play's a disaster. Now I'm getting mad. Ah, you dare ignore me? Why don't you shut up, blabbermouth? <laughs> oh, that was fun. Hey, let's go on the gondola. <laughs> I know it's gondola, but gondola is just so much more fun to say. Wow. How nice. Look at Cloud. Like, brooding. First off... Bothered me how you looked 
exactly alike. The way you walk, gesture, I must have seen him again. And you. I want to meet you. But I'm right here. I know, I know. What I mean is, I want to meet you. I'm poking one of my fingers through a hole in my other fingers. Hey, what's Kate Sith doing? Is that the keystone? Hey, Kate Sith! What an asshole! Gee, I wonder where Kate Sith is. Could he be this guy? Or maybe this guy up here. This guy? No? Well, how about this guy? Oh! Fucking Kate Sith, please! Hey, over here, the keystone! Well done. Hey! Ooh, wait a second. I, I won't run or hide. Yes, I was a spy. I was hired by the Shinra. We didn't even screen this guy. He just joined our party. No one asked how a giant mechanical Moogle with a cat on top of it could in any way be a threat to our party. We No one even wondered about this thing. No questions were asked. Yeah, join our party. In fact, we didn't even want Kate Sith to join the party. He just did. How about if we continue like if nothing ever happened? No way, Cat. You got a lot of guts acting like a friend but being a spy. That, oh, that is some sick dialogue, bro. And what are you gonna do? Kill me? Just be wasting your time if you tried. His body's just a toy anyway. My real body's at Shinra headquarters in Midgar. I'm controlling this toy cat from there. All right, yes, I'm a Shinra employee, but we're not entirely enemies. Something bothers me. <laughs> I think it's your way of life. You don't get paid, you don't get praised, yet you still risk your lives and continue on your journey. Seeing that makes me, just makes me think about my life. I don't think I'd feel too good if things ended the way they are now. Tomorrow is the Temple of the Ancients, right? I know where it is, so I'll tell you later. There's a part of me that feels pity. Oh, nice. Elixir. Oh yeah! About the Temple of the Ancients. I think if we take the tiny Bronco east towards the sea, we should be able to find it. Well then, shall we get going? Who's gonna go? I wanna go. I'm going for sure. Are you only poor parrot? Bees. Wage. Jesse. Wait, wage. Wait, wage. Wage! Hey, it's sung. Ah, uh, then had. It's not the promised land. Sephiroth is searching for. Sephiroth, he's inside? Look. For yourself. The keystone. Place it on the altar. Damn. So this is the Temple of the Ancients? Oh man, you gotta be kidding. This is making me dizzy. It's like an MC Escher painting. I'm still a frog. Alright. Oh, uh, now Barrett's a frog. Yum yum! <laughs> yum yum! W where are these things coming from? Why is there an endless amount of these things? We did it! We did it! Yay! It's hard to take Pop by our model seriously, but the idea is there, I suppose. Like when Sephiroth raises his arms like that. I am becoming one with the planet. I realized something. Sephiroth is reverse Jesus. No, 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 not the Antichrist. The reverse Jesus. Yum, yum. Ah, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on. So I just got an email from the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Hey, Vin, it's me. Spagublio. If your stool is orange like orange Goku, you should go and see your local doctor. It's happened to me. I regret reading that on stream. Spagublio. What the fuck? Oh. Even Cloud is breaking the fourth wall. Oh, what's this horse shit? This atmosphere feels like a battle. Fuck. Oh, that, that did not, that did not look like it felt good. Okay. He's 
kind of a pain in the ass. I'd like to let you know that Vine Sauce is sponsored by Pizza Slut, the only type of pizza that you can find in a trash can. Domingos, I call it Domingos, Dominorgies, McBag Bombs, Wendell's, Burger Chief. We had all these alternate names for fast food joints. I don't know why. I told you guys about the asshole tickler thing. You pass by a McDonald's and I'm just thinking, oh, those nuggets. Dip them in some fucking nuclear sauce. And then I eat it and I'm like, I fucking hate you, McDonald's, so much. Fuck you, McDonald's. I feel like shit. Hey, remember this guy? Yum, yum. So, whatever. Let me guess. Yum, yum. Ah, yum, yum. Zoink, Scoob. We gotta get through the right door, Scoob. We did it, Scoob. Like, oh. And what? That which adds to the knowledge of... I... Becoming one with the planet. Finish your goddamn sentences, Sephiroth, please. Is that a yo-yo? On, on the wall there? Pay attention, folks. Soon... We will become... One. How do you intend to become one with the planet? It's simple. Once the planet is hurt, it gathers spirit energy to heal the injury. The amount of energy gathered depends on the size of the injury. What would happen if there was an injury that threatened the very life of the planet? Think of how much energy would be gathered. <laughs> At the center of that injury will be me. That'll never happen. Really sold that line, didn't I? Hey, how, how do you voice someone like Sephiroth? I'm like, I'm laughing at the dialogue internally. I'm screaming internally while trying to read it the way that guy from Advent Children did Sephiroth. Hey, Claw! <laughs> Black Materia. Uh, call Meteor. Cloud, get a hold of yourself. Cloud. I'm Cloud. How should I? I remember. I remember my way. Hmm? Well, what's wrong? Is something wrong? It's nothing, so don't worry about it. So this must be Meteor, right? Is it some sort of a disaster? It looks like something's gonna fall from the sky. The ultimate destructive magic Meteor. This planet might get wiped out entirely. It's Sephiroth. <laughs> it's not me. All oh, right, Fire Dragon fella. Mm -hmm. Son of a submariner. Spoony Bard. Yeah, I love the Spoony Bard shit. It is so good. Yeah. Good damage. Oh, shit. Please tell me Big Guard is still active. Wow, Barrett is getting picked on. Look at how, look how hard Barrett's getting picked on. I mean, he's the only one that took any damage that whole fight, and he, st he lived. He's amazing. He's a fucking machine. What is this? There's something written on it. B L A C K M A. Materia. <laughs> black Materia. This huge temple. This is the black materia. Then no one can take it. Hmm, it's pretty hard. You see, this is a model of the temple, and inside it is a device which gets smaller each time you solve a puzzle. But as the model becomes smaller, you become smaller too until it's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. You can only answer the puzzles inside the temple. So anyone who solves the puzzle will be crushed by the temple. Just leave it. If we can't take it, then neither can Sephiroth, right? No, we've got to think of a way to get it out. Because Sephiroth has lots of different flunkies. <laughs> it's nothing to him to throw their lives away to get the black materia. This place isn't safe. Well, then how does he get it from the flunkies if they're, like, miniaturized? Ah, uh, hi Cloud, this is Kate Sith. I overheard the whole story. You can use my stuffed body for the future of the planet. Flunkies. I'm gonna write that word down. Flunkies. Flunky Joe. Ah, yums. Yum, yum. It's warm. This isn't good. Cloud, behind you. Oh shit, it's wall alien. Wow. All right, let's not have that happen again. Barrett is gonna take all the hits forever and ever. Oh yeah, that feels good on my ears, yeah. Who thought that sound effect was a good idea? That's all I wanna know. Big guard. 
Fucking Cloud is gonna die. God damn it, Cloud! Yes! Oh, look, the whole thing turned red. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's me! I'll handle the rest. I'm so excited. Right or wrong, I'm still the same old me. I'm, did he say... Was it spelled exited? She told me to be strong. I feel so happy. Ow. What happened? I can still move more. What the hell's going on here, guys? What what, what the fuck is this scene? <laughs> this is just, come on, hurry, Kate. Kate says, do it. Do the thing. Goodbye, then! Guess I'm off to save the planet! Shut up. I'm getting angry at myself for doing the voice. As long as we have this, Sephiroth won't be able to use Meteor. Ah, uh, but I have... I am far superior to the ancients. I became a traveler of the life stream and gained the knowledge and wisdom of the ancients. I also gained the knowledge and wisdom of those after the extinction of the ancients. Soon, I will create the future. I won't let you do it. The future is not only yours. <laughs> I wonder. Wake up. There, Cloud. Good boy. Wah! Gave black materia to Sephiroth. Well done. I, I'm a clown. Oops, looks like I came in a bad time. I'm Kate Sith number two. Right, pleased to meet you all. God damn it, Kate Sith. Get the fuck out of here. Cloud, you fuck. That feel. That running in place shit. Tell me you've never had that in a dream. You look like you was having a nightmare. How you feeling? You know, Cloud, Aerith is gone. Everyone's out looking for Aerith. City of the Ancients. Aerith is headed there. By herself? Why did she go by herself? Hey, we're going too. Hey. Why are you still sitting around? Let's go, Cloud. No. Might lose it again. Sephiroth comes near me. I might... Yeah, God damn it. It's cause of you that Sephiroth got the black materia in the first place. It's your damn fault. I know you got problems. Hell, we all do. But you don't even understand yourself. But you gotta understand that there ain't no getting off of this train, we all. Till we get to the end of the line. Cloud, we came this far. Aren't you gonna settle up with Sephiroth? No. I I'm afraid. Just a damn jackass. That's what you is. Yo, just thinking about it. How many people in this world do you think really understand themselves? People get depressed in life because they don't know what's up. But they go on living. They don't run away. Isn't that how it is? So even if you do go nuts again when you see Sephiroth, if it happens, it happens. I'll go upside your spiky white head and bring you back to normal. Otherwise, head north to Bone Village. Well, I'm gonna go to Bone Village, alright? Yeah, take you to Bone Village. See, that's- that's a- That's a cock joke. Lunar Harp is somewhere in the ground here. We could excavate it for you if you want us to. How long it takes them to to get up the stairs, and then they then they Mario jump anyway. So they should just Mario jump straight the fuck up. Aerith is in immediate danger, but let's dig for a couple of days. I am the pullout king. There it is, lunar heart. I ended up um, singing, and it wasn't awful. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I didn't set you up over there. What the fuck? You gotta climb the stairs to jump down. Potion. Great. Great item. Best item. What the fuck is this materia doing? Kajata. Fucking seahorses are beautiful and fucking cute. I love them. Huh. <laughs> There's a bed. Why is there no capital H on that? Cloud, stop it! Ah, uh, what are you making me do?
This can't be real. Do not worry. Soon the girl will become part of the planet's energy. All that is left is to go north. There I will become- Shut up. The cycle of nature and your stupid plan don't mean a thing. Aerith is gone. Aerith will no longer talk, no longer laugh, cry, or get angry. What about us? What are we supposed to do? What about my pain? My fingers are tingling. My mouth is dry. My eyes are burning. Oh, God. I didn't realize it was this hammy. <laughs> Stop acting as if you were sad. There's no need to act as though you're angry, either. Because, Cloud, you are... Pregnant. Spin! Oh god. The cloud's dead? Wait, really? Already? And so is Cloud now dead. Aerith will go to the grave with a friend. That really, really weird close up of Barrett's face. I don't know what that was. That was a good limit break. 420. Cloud hitting for the dankest number. I don't remember it, but I'm assuming it must have been a little weird to have to fight Genova immediately after a main character dies. And like the music is all playing and shit. So Genova only has one line in the entire Final Fantasy VII game. Genova being Sephiroth's revived mother thing, alien thing. And it's a- look, look at how because is spelled. Genova is finishing Sephiroth's sentence, and it's the only line that this character, pseudo-character has. B.I.A. Klaus, you are a puppet. I don't know what emotions Barrett is trying to express. It, it's hard to tell when you're made of Legos. What's Yuffie's reaction in that part? Someone said it's it's really sad, apparently. What's going on? Come on, enough with the Fs, guys. We get it. I know, the Phoenix Down joke is the oldest one in the book. Why didn't Cloud just revive her with a phoenix down? It's because he's too busy drowning her. Where's Cloud standing? I don't see him. How is he able to stand in shallow water and yet dump her off in this deep ocean? Whatever. Yuffie runs away crying. Oh. So the theory in chat is Genova fights the party immediately to prevent Cloud from reviving Aerith. But also, there's a difference between KO and death. Everyone, listen to me. I'm Cloud, ex-soldier, born in Nibelheim came to settle up with Sephiroth. I'm 5'8", I weigh 160 pounds, my dick is 15 inches, and I'm ready to... I'm ready to rock. Let's do this, Sephiroth. Gets on a motorcycle. <laughs> There's a part of me that I don't understand. The part that made me give the black materia to Sephiroth. There's something inside me, a person who is not really me. One might say that they were... crawling. <laughs> There you go. B.I. Klaus. You are pop out. My name, Genova Nukam. Klau? You just full surprise. And he's nimble. You see? Oh, come on. God damn it. Whoops. I was gonna say, look how full of surprises he is. He's able to do, like, Super Mario type shit. Any celebrities in the house tonight? We got any celebs watching the stream? Oh, uh, uh, Obama's here, guys. Oh, there's two Obamas. Three Obamas and a Bono. Hey, Bama, what are you, what are you doing here, Bama? Shouldn't you be running the country? <laughs> oh, wait, that's just a joke. What are you doing here, Bama? Come on. I wonder who's the most famous. You know what? I know the answer to that. It's fucking PewDiePie. He subscribed to Joel and I's channels on YouTube, believe it or not. That's the most famous person who watches Vine Sauce that I'm aware of. I wonder if... I wonder if uh, Oprah... Or Borpo, rather. I'm sorry, Borpo. I wonder if she would ever consider watching Vine Sauce. No, I don't think Markiplier watches Vine Sauce. I met the dude. He didn't know who I was. He's like, oh, are you a 30-year-old fan? All right, come on and take a picture with me, bro. I love corrupting Donkey Kong Country. That's my... In my top three. 
if not my favorite, because I've gotten more laughs out of that. That has broke me to the point where I almost couldn't breathe, and that's rare. Those corruptions left me breathless. I was having a fit. These poor rabbits. Why, why am I fighting rabbits? Jumping. That's the name of the, the creature, just jumping. The most non-clever name. So anyway, this is a new area. It's called STR, as you can see by that sign. No, there's there's actually a name for it, I believe. Organics? It's a strange name. I guess Vincent's, as they say, too edgy? Ugh, Lucrezia. I am my own enemy. <laughs> Kidding, I'm joking, I'm joking. People were getting pissed. They were like, get this fucking edgelord out of your party. I just get so comfortable. Is this Santa's house? Oh, that's a cat? I thought that was a crab. Okay, look at that and tell me that's not a crab. That's Lamar from Half-Life 2, guys. That's a fucking head crab. Wow, cats sure look a lot different in 1997. I was like, why does this guy have a pet crab? Oh, this part of the game is kind of beans. Lamar! Lamar! Hey, you heard about the gnarly hill in this town? They tell me it's off limits. Puppies here? Whew. What is it? Don't get too close. It'll burn you. Spider bite. Heart. It was given, it caught a virus. The planet went to go play in the playground. It touched one of the fucking, the, the poles in the playground. Meanwhile, Timmy, who was sick, coughed into his hand. He touched the pole first, then the planet touched it, and then somehow, like, the, the, its hands ended up in its mouth. And so now it has a virus named Genova. Genova is, is a, an alien thing that's smart, and it tricks people, it gives them colds. Long time no see, Professor Gast. Oh, is that Hojo? Hojo, how did you know, Joe? What strikes me as more strange is this place, this place has been abandoned for how many years? And electricity is still on and no one's locked up the door. There's no dust. The bed still has flashing lights on it. What kind of wizardry is this? There they are. Hurry! Yes, ma'am. What's down there? It's a secret. You really got guts doing my boss in like that, song. It wasn't us, Sephiroth did it. Don't think you could fool me, liar. Look at his wounds. They weren't from a giant fucking man-sized sword. They were from a small, thin sword. There's no way he can avoid my punch. Why? Why didn't you try to avoid it? I tried to avoid it. I pressed the fucking button. Nothing happened. I got out of my snowboard. Now I can't go out for a while. Hey, I'll give you my snowboard. Hey, who put balloons on these mountains? Good. Good snowboard controls. Much sex is to be had from these controls. Fuck! That was good. Missed all those balloons. I always was terrible at this minigame. Always. I feel like you can almost never get enough speed to get some of these things, too. Like, how do you even get that? Mugwumps. Oh, chocobo snowman. Please! Yeah, this is like... This is crazy to be able to do this accurately. These controls are not suited for such turns. Twists and turns. I guess we're still in one piece. Everyone all right? Of course. I can't be doing this damn. Hey, what's that? They just gave you something, right? Let's use the square button to find out. Break the fourth wall as well. Look at Barrett's weapon. Oh, it is so awesome. I like the way he shoots it, too. It's so easy to get... <laughs> to get lost. What is... What is Cloud? Such good animations. Oh, oh no, I went backwards. This is the entrance. <laughs> oh, fuck. I think we're there. And we're gonna go from there to the other there, and then after that, we're gonna go there, and we're gonna have, um, coffee with Stankus McDankus. If we could just check the map and see what nondescript area we're at right now, that would be great. Well, it, uh, it looks like we're in a really snowy, flat area with not a plot of features. In fact, it's completely featureless, and I'm wondering if that means we're going the flat way. So, this fucking area sucks dick. I'm just saying, I hate this. What is the deeper meaning of vine sauce? It's when vines grow out of an asshole. Oh, I remember this thing. Ice golem. It's just like a little fucking toy robot. And collapsed. You must have used a lot of energy getting up here. Better get some rest before you head out. 
they all sleep in the same bed together. Barrett's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, Cloud. You're so comfy, Cloud. And Sid's like, fuck! What made the developers think this would be fun? To just wander aimlessly. Let's just hang out in the hot springs forever. We don't We don't need to go anywhere else. Uh, Unger Max. You know what the funny thing about Unger Max is? U-N-G-A-R-M-A-X. That's the name of one of Barrett's limit breaks. And when I was a kid, I just thought, what is Unger Max? What does that mean? So yeah, Unger Max was actually a misspelling. It was supposed to be Anger. Anger Max. So yeah, Anger Max was uh, translated to Unger Max. But then again, you give a character like Genova one line and it's a misspelling. Oh my god, fucking die already. Unger Max. Fuck do you misspell anger to unger? Pop! Speaking of pop, Popeye's chicken. What kind of crack do they put on that chicken? Why is it that good? Why, when I eat it, do I have to lay down for two hours? If there's some kind of- they sprinkle crack on it. Sprinkle some crack on it and get out of here. And we're passed out. That big giant thing could not kill these tiny little toy robots. I swear to fucking god. They're still alive! Let's kill some rabbits with a fucking satellite. Just like... Okay. Did, that was nice. Did you see that? The satellite missed two of the rabbits. Oh, okay! This game is pissing me off really bad right now. Oh shit, it's Drogon. This has got to be one of the worst ice or snow levels ever made. Got it. I think I'd rather just pass out now. You know, in game, not in real life. That too, that's fine. It's now time to pass out. Cool fucking game. Hey, what's up here? Battle! No, don't, don't make Barrett fall in love with you. Come on. I'm ready for an Ungar Max. Ungar Max. Best move. Yeah, Barrett. Yeah. Yeah. What? This isn't. No. Where's what? But but. But where's the cave? There's supposed to be a cave. This. Come on. Fuck. The hunger is real. There's. I'm so hungry. Now that's why it's the best game ever. There it is. There it is. You. Got a lot of nerve trying to touch me with the same dirty hands that touch that filthy hot springs. Ungar! Todd's immune to that shit, son. Shit, she knew she couldn't make it with Cloud, so she got it with Barrett. Fuck. Why this? Alexander. Uh, finally, guys, we did it. We did it. Um, this is what Alexander looks like, if anyone wants to see some polygons, hot polygon action. So, let's see if this was worth it. It's like a giant fucking robot castle. Yeah, it was worth it. Okay, finally. A new thing to look at. Stilva. Oh, I should change the, um, thing. Oh, we got magic breath. What the fuck does that do? Whoa, his own attack killed him! That was awesome! Blats. Boner octopus. Yeah, it, oh, oh, shit, it's this thing. This thing is a motherfucker. Fucking named after a cigarette. Malboro. Yeah, this thing can cause a wipe. If I'm not careful. There it is, bad breath. <laughs> we got it, we got the skill, but Barrett turned into a frog. Sorry, Barrett. <laughs> There's nothing I can do for you. It's over. M tentacles. Yes. Oh, it's delicious. M tentacles. So this is my first Final Fantasy VII stream since the big announcement. If you didn't know, there's a Final Fantasy VII remake. They pushed the fucking button! In a land. The memory. So there was a picture going around 
the internet, this is going to be in HD. This is a scene where Cloud is in a brothel and a bunch of muscle men touch him inappropriately and call him Bubby. I would guess two years. Maybe not from- maybe two and a half years from now, I would say. We'll probably see it two and a half years from now. Last elixir. Last elixir. What is that anyway? Is that a key item? That can't be a key item. What the fuck is the last elixir? I don't see it. Mistranslated elixir. Oh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, this is the one that, that the fans keep clamoring on about, and Square listened. I really want another Chrono Trigger, though. I mean, I've been waiting for a Chrono Trigger thing for a long time. It makes me slightly upset to think that Square canceled that fan remake. That looked cool. I just kind of want that more than I want this. You know, the hype can be slightly more tolerable. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> I will become slightly more hated so that you guys don't have to suffer the hype for the next two years. And you can just let it die down just a slight bit and you can get on with your lives. And that way when it comes out, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And when you go to sleep at night and everyone is away, you'll find that you have woken up and it's another day. And Cloud and Barrett and Tifa will all be there by your side. And then, at the end of the night, Biggs, Wage! I'm getting hypothermia! Mike's reaction to the Final Fantasy VII trailer was, It's a desperation move. They pushed the fucking button! And at the end of the night, we'll hop on Barrett's wild ride. Oh, hey, Mike, I didn't know they were remaking Final Fantasy VII. That's weird. Ungar Marx. Ungar. Well, Ungar Max. Yeah, I just, I just basically... Okay, that is a pretty cool attack. This, this guy's still alive. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One of the heads, I think, is dead. We gotta rain down destruction from the heavens, I believe. Ungar Max. Dragon Force. Well, I know where that band got its name from. An old crater. Something fell out of the sky and crashed down here, leaving a scar on the planet. So, uh, all this energy's gathered here for the planet to heal itself? Sephiroth took that energy and is trying to use Meteor. Next time, the wound won't be so small. To... Tifa. Oh my... Musculature. So, I finally found you. <laughs> Sephiroth's flukies. Whatever, uh, gremlins. Look at these gremlins! Wow, and sculpture. Living sculptures. You know... Back in... Uh, my day. Living sculptures more in the threat, really. Will these be in the remake? Go, go attack. Death, there we go. Sephiroth. This is the end. You're right. This is the end of this body's usefulness. He must leave the body. He disappeared. Our purpose is to deliver the black materia to our master. Those who carry Genova cell. But what's happening here in this in this game right now? Red light. Now stop the- Ah, come on! Why on Tifa? Tifa's gonna die. Tifa's dead! Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him! Okay, good. We need to use... Unger marks. <laughs> Don't kill Tifa. Don't kill T- Don't you dare kill Tifa. I need her right now. She's got a limit break. Eleven. Eleven! Somersault. Don't kill Tifa. What a spam. What a spam bastard. Look at this. I used one of my elixirs. I, uh, you know what? I almost never use my goddamn elixirs until the very end of the game. Yeah. Black Materia is back in our hands. Now all we have to do is defeat Sephiroth and that'll be the end of it. We'd better not take the Black Materia any further. Why don't you give it to someone else to hold on to? I'll give it to Vincent because he's he, uh, he doesn't seem like... How about if you hold on to the Black Materia? Uh, I don't think I can. He doesn't want to hold it. Me and the Black Materia just don't mix. I don't want anything to do with that Black Materia. No! Not the Black Materia, please! Sephiroth, what a damn crazy fuck! Better not take... The, why don't you... It, Red 13's the only one. The illusion of choice. You want me to take the Black Materia? All right, I understand. Don't give it to anyone. 
Whoa, fucking psychedelic attack. Did you guys see that? Fucking cloud just got super high for a second. What is this? What happened? Calm down, Tifa. Sephiroth is near. Anything could happen. Why Nibelheim? Are you high on Mako or something? This is an illusion Sephiroth made up. He's trying to confuse us. It'll be alright. As long as we know it's an illusion, there's nothing to be afraid of. That ain't Cloud. The hell is he? Stop it already. This is bad. Just like Coral. This is what actually happened five years ago, but... It's probably not me that's going to come out of that Shinra mansion. See? Didn't I tell you? Hey, you alright? Sephiroth, I know you're listening. I know what you want to say. But I wasn't in Nibelheim five years ago. That's it, isn't it? I see you finally understand. What you were trying to say is that you want to confuse me, right? But even making me see those things won't affect me. I remember it all. The heat of the fire, the pain in my body, and in my heart. Oh, is that so? What I have shown you is reality. But you remember that is the illusion. Five years ago, you were constructed by Hojo, piece by piece, right after Nibelheim was burnt. A puppet made up of vibrant Genova cells, her knowledge, the power of the Mako. An incomplete Sephiroth clone, not even given a number. That is your reality. Hmm. Shall I show everyone here what's in your heart? Do you remember the picture that we took before we headed for Mount Nebel? Now, what happened to that picture? Is this it? Do you want to see it? Turned out pretty good. You fucking idiot! Who's, who's that there on the left? It's Cloud with black hair. I went to Tifa's room. There I played the piano. I looked in the drawers, I spent the night, and went to the reactor in Mount Nebel. I was excited about it, because that was my first mission after becoming Soldier First Class. Soldier first class. Soldier? When, when did I enter Soldier? How did I join Soldier? Why can't I remember? I, I'm... That's right. I didn't have to worry about it because I was... Let's go, Tifa. I'm... I'm alright. I wonder how Cloud and the others are. It's hard to believe such a small piece of materia is able to destroy the planet. What the? Is everyone all right? What's going on? Where am I? Don't leave me alone. Maniki, you're here. I'm so glad. Tifa. Something is strange. Why was it dark all of a sudden? And where is everyone? Everyone's waiting. Cloud's in trouble. Please come, help us. Over there. R right. Mr. President, I've got a bad feeling about this place. Maybe we should go back to our ship now. We need to prepare for the inspection anyway. Hey, where did you come from? Don't know. This place is going to get rough. Better leave things to me and get out of here while you still can. Leave things to you? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. This is where the reunion is happening. Where everything begins and ends. I'm here. I'm here to help you, Cloud. Thanks, Nanaki. Where's the black materia? It's safe. I'm holding on to it. I'll take it from here. Give me the black materia. Are you alright, Cloud? Then here you go. I was a little apprehensive holding this thing. Thanks. Leave the rest to me. Come on, the black materia. Everyone, thanks for everything. And I'm sorry. 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 Sorry about that. Especially you, Tifa. I'm really sorry. I never lived up to being Cloud. Tifa, maybe one day you'll meet the real Cloud. <laughs> this is perfect. It means that my experiment was a complete success. What number were you? Huh? Where is your tattoo? Professor Hojo, I don't have a number. You didn't give me one because you said I was a failed experiment. Professor, please give me a number. Please, Professor. Shut up, miserable failure. Oh. And this is the game they're remaking. So the, the planet created these weapons. The planet literally birthed these things.
before Jiggle Physics, there was Tifa. Pretty clear who the designers had in mind when they designed her character. For those that are confused, this is the first time Tifa had seen Cloud in five years. So there was the whole Nibelheim incident. They hadn't seen each other. Five years goes by. Cloud appears disheveled and fucked up one day at Midgar. You'll be better soon. You've been asleep for a long time. Hey, uh, why don't you ask about him? Because I'm scared. Don't worry, I don't know what happened to Cloud either. None of them know if he's alright either. How long was I asleep? Let's see now. Must have been about seven days. Remember that huge light in the Northern Cave? Since then, the crater's been surrounded by a huge barrier of light. Everyone knows Sephiroth sleeps in that big hole protected by the barrier. Can't do a damn thing about it. We just gotta wait here till he wakes up. On top of that, some huge monster called Weapon's been on a rampage. Hey, how about Meteor? Just whatever you do, don't open the window, Barrett. Just don't open the window or anything like that. I thought Cloud would show up to save you all, but Professor Hojo wanted to check up on Cloud too. Meteor has been summoned, essentially. It's all but over now. President! Preparations for the public execution are complete! Execution? What are you gonna get by executing us? You are to be executed for causing the situation. People are ignorant. They'll feel better as long as someone's punished. Take back what a little praise I had for this damn jackass. Enjoy your last moments together. I'll tie your arms now. Look at these computers. These... They got a Dell. I like the Dell. Cannon. That's, that's a good use of a banner. Just a giant banner that says cannon. The hell are these people? We'll be broadcasting your miserable deaths live on national television. Scarlet, why a public execution in this day and age? With this chaos resulting from the media reports, we desperately need to rally public support. It's better that we punish somebody, anybody. They'll never admit it, but everyone loves this stuff. We'll start with this girl. Gotta do it. Do it to me first. Camera, this way. Make sure you get this. The audience just eats up tearful goodbyes. This is my special gas chamber. Take your time and enjoy a slow, painful death. Stuck up fuck. Well, now the show's about to begin. Emergency, emergency. Weapons approaching. Attention, all military personnel. Take your positions. Oh no, it's weapon. Run. Hey, hey, all of you. Damn, why now? How does it feel now, Scarlet? Yeah. Huh? Sleeping gas, weirdo. It was Kate Sith in the oversized trench coat. Impressive disguise, Kate Sith. The first and only time most people use Kate Sith. Wow. They really did a great job with that character if no one uses him until the one forced segment. Ah, uh, you. Ain't you part of Shinra? Let's just say I'm against capital punishment. Besides, I hate this broad. Come on, we gotta help Tifa. I'll keep watch at the entrance. Won't open. It's weapon. We'll give it a shot from our big cannon. Open cannon doors, activate cannon. Target weapon. Cannon. Fire! Very limited direction for that cannon. Did we get him? Seems so. It's a good thing he was coming from that direction, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to fight him. Oh, Monster Mash, we're- No! No, it was so cool! It was so cool! Oh, no! Not a very bright monster. I mean, literally, all it had to do was stand however many yards to the right, and it would have been fine. The real MVP, the real hero, is- is Weapon. Monster Mash has officially fixed- Oh, is he dead? Yep, he's dead. He fell. Rest in peace. Someone in chat just said, what the actual fuck, that grunt was my favorite character so far. It's the- it's the least convoluted character in the game, and now he's dead. We do the monster mash. Can you believe this? Is- you think this is gonna be in the remake? Someone's gonna complain on this. Someone's gonna write a blog post about this. Look, her eye is red. Take her- she's got pink eye. <laughs> You okay? My cheeks hurt a bit. In any case, the airship Highwind is now yours. 
Oh, I'm glad you... Welcome to my airship, the High Wind. What's wrong? You should be more excited than that. Sid. Yeah. Do you think we aren't strong enough without Cloud? Do you think we can't save the planet alone? Meteor is coming. Weapons on the rampage. Time like this, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. No idea at all. Get a hold of yourself, Tifa. Come on, let's think about this. No way we can get off of this train we are. I'll be your edgelord on this journey. Since Cloud is no longer here, you can edge with me if you'd so choose. I want you to know that I didn't dislike him. Gotta admit he was a strange dude. Just when you thought he was cool, he'd go and do some damn fool thing. When you thought he was smart, he'd show how stupid he was. Uh, everything about him, from his movements to his speech, were <coughs> kinda odd. Morty, <coughs> knowing, knowing what I do now, I, I can see why he was that way. Morty, ah, Captain Sid. Tifa, sorry, but <coughs> I've, I've got to show this moron how to land the ship. Tifa, I'll give you information, Shinra. Uh, ask me if there's anything you don't understand. Wait, what did he say? Tifa, I'll give you information, Shinra. Give you information, Shinra. What? So that's why this music is so horribly dark and foreboding. It's because the world is going to end soon. Bright and cheery game, I know. So the idea is to find Cloud, right? That's what we want to do. Well, lucky, lucky for us, I know where Cloud is. And not because I've played this game before, but yes, because I've played this game before. All right, you want to know madness? Listen to this song for 24 hours straight. Come back to me and tell me how life is. You say you don't know when the stars are gonna fall out of the sky. Is that for real? I just don't believe it. How could this happen? Well, you see, there's a guy named Sephiroth who's actually a clone of a, a space calamity called Genova, who came from the skies into this planet long ago when the Cetra, who were very connected with the planet, were just trying to get to the promised land, but Genova was a calamity, an alien, a parasite, if you will, that died and was resurrected and its pieces like to reunite into a whole, which is called Reunion. But Sephiroth wasn't actually all that bad until he figured out who his mother was, and then he decided to go rogue. Anyway, Cloud, who's under Sephiroth's control, gave him the Black Materia, because many years ago, Hojo worked on him as an ex a scientific experiment, um, an attempt to clone Sephiroth and make another Sephiroth, but it was a failed experiment, and so Sephiroth has control over Cloud because Cloud has Genova cells in his bloodstream. Cloud then gave the Black Materia to Sephiroth. Sephiroth then summoned Meteor from inside the planet's wound, and now here we are. <clears throat> Any questions? And what have Shinra and Soldier done about it? Tell me! They're a waste! What heave? There you go, there's another one of those uh, lovely typos. What heave? That's... What is that? Looks like an old key. Beat up useless old key. That's how we revive Aerith, guys, with the useless beat up. But we have to take him to the general. Huh? It's pretty tight. Yeah. Oh no, it broke. Now I can't get it out. Something wrong? Oh, oh, huh? Oh, oh n no. Uh, I'm sorry, I forced the key and it broke. Huh? Key? Oh, you mean one to that old door? Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Of course there's no key. It's just a wall. We painted a door on it. What? It's not a real door? That's right. We drew it on there to make it feel like we could pass through to another world. Sorry to have surprised you. It's not much of an apology, but please take this. Really? Thank you. It's possible we're hoping to pass through a dream door like that one into another world. I got the feeling that you might be able to wake- make my dreams come true in my place. Weird, isn't it? It increases each status, but... You got lost, didn't you? Separated from someone you love? Silly thing. I guess it's been about a week now since you washed up here on the shore. Poor pokey-headed young thing. It's really sad, but weird. Just holding this really long sword. I don't know, the whole thing feels unlucky to me. But the amazing thing was those weird blue eyes. What? Wait a minute, what did you just say? Excuse me. That young person you were just talking about. Yeah, a villager found him a little ways down the coast. I think it was about a week ago. Yeah, poor kid. He must have drifted from somewhere pretty far away. Cloud? It must be Cloud! It's Cloud! You sure? Hm. Good job, Tifa. So where is he? Is he safe? Where, where is he now? Yeah, up ahead at the, uh, clinic. He's alive! Cloud. Cloud's alive. Tifa! Cloud? Here now. The way you're running around, you'd think Meteor fell or something. I'm sorry, but I heard that a friend of mine was being taken care of here. Friend? Oh yeah, that young fellow! Don't worry, your friend is next door, but I'm afraid his condition is... Here? Over here? Cloud? Oh, Cloud, I'm so glad you're safe. Huh? Cloud? Uh... What's wrong, Cloud? Uh, Kirk? Cloud, what happened to you? 
Mako poisoning. Quite an advanced case. It appears this young man's been exposed to a high level of Mako energy for a protracted period of time. Poor fellow. His voice doesn't even work. He's literally miles away from us now. That's bad. Damn, that's evil. So, what about him? You know Cloud? I'll say it again, he's got Mako poisoning. Uh, I've never seen a case this bad. An immense amount of Mako-drenched knowledge was put into his brain all at once. No normal human could have survived it. It's a miracle he did. But remember, the light of hope can be found anywhere. Listen, if you give up hope, what'll happen to him? Hey, but honestly, man, do I really want him to come back? What did he do for the world? What can he do for us from here on out? Maybe nothing more than Sephiroth's shadow. What are we gonna do now? What can we do now? There ain't nothing we could do. And don't go telling us to wait for Cloud to get better. No, I've got some news. Yeah, what, that you a spy? Both, uh, kya -ha -ha and kya -ha, ha are up to something. Wanna eavesdrop? No then, we're faced with two issues. One, destroy Meteor. And two, remove the barrier around North Cave and defeat Sephiroth. Any ideas? <laughs> we already solved the first problem. Meteor will soon be smashed to bits. The plan has already been put into motion. Namely, to collect huge materia from each region. Huge materia is a high-density, special type of materia made through a special compression process in Mako reactors. The energy extracted from it is 330 times the strength of normal materia. We will gather all the huge materia together and ram it into Meteor. That will cause a huge explosion, reducing Meteor literally to bits. You're going to ram Meteor? We've already collected materia from Nibelheim. All that's left is Coral and Fort Condor. I've already dispatched troops to Coral. <laughs> Prepare for ramming speed! That's what that is. <laughs> wow, well, what's going on? You've been chosen to be the new leader. Pain in the ass, forget it! But for us to fight, we gotta have the high wind. And you, we needed to save the planet. Who's running this ship? You. That's why you are new leader. Ain't no one else can. The ship's gonna save the planet, huh? And that's gonna be just a little tough. Oh, man. I went straight to my heart. Uh, I'm a man, too. All right, I'll do it. Everyone follow me. All right. Now, here's our first job. The operation room's waiting for you. Yeah. M Morty, I don't, I don't want to be no leader. I love the way Sid runs. I know you're all dying to talk to a babe like me, but just leave me alone. The ship makes me... We're gonna use Vincent McSadfuck. I need to talk to the Chocobo. Get away from the Chocobo, lady. Step away from the Chocobo. What's this? You're being awful friendly. Ah, so you want some semolin greens, don't you? I guess there's no way around it. Here you go, shrimp. Eat up. It's kind of cute. Maybe I'll just tickle him a little. That's right, Mike. We will. <laughs> Freeze. Oh, that's good. Break, tornado, flare. Why is it called contain? And why did this little chocobo fella give me such a powerful materia? Winchester. The fucking Winchester. Let's all have a pint at the Winchester and wait for all this to blow over. Have I ever had sleep paralysis? Yes. I think that's a pretty... That, that happens to a lot of us. That's, that's, that's some scary shit, though. Sleep paralysis. Because it's like you're convinced it's a demon. But what if it is the demon? I've had some weird sleep paralysis where I was sure I heard a demon voice in my head. Start a stream, my son. Mislead all the children. Gather a flock. Tell them to inject ink into their eyes. It's all part of the master plan. Darkness! Darkness is coming! Uh, so we're- it says I'm supposed to be at Coral. This is Coral. Whoa. What the fuck is this? Just teleport? Damn! Looks like they're taking off with the huge materia in that train. No, you damn boneheads! Hey, do you know who I am? I'm Sid, that's who the hell I am. Now let me- Now just let me handle it! Judging from the enemy's speed, I'll say it'd take about 10 minutes. We're gonna fly, hold on tight! Alright, we're gonna jump! Wow, that's a long way to jump. You guys must be fucking superhuman. Oh wait, yes they are. What is this? What the fuck is this? The gas ductor? What's this about ductions? lit dynamite with his cigarette. That's why Sid is the best character in this game. Almost. Sitting on the park bench! Yes, I am Vinnybot7000. You see, what I'm able to do is, I was able to take all of the audio recordings from all of my streams for over the past five years, create a synthetic voice that sounds just like me. 
I mean, just like him. And I was able to create a bot that plays video games and fakes enthusiasm. I am Vinny Bot. How may I serve? Do you wish to learn about dicks? Do you want to know more? Do you want some more? Do you want some more? Let's hurry up. Come on, we don't have much time. What, you guys? All right, just hand over the huge material. Whoa! Another battle. I have one minute to do a battle. Hurry up, Vincent. You better transform into that fucking Galien beast really quickly. Got him. Okay, all right, all right. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Let's find out. Say, don't smoke, Sid. You got guts coming after me. No, no, no. Get no gun. No time for that. Hit the brakes, Chief. Come on, hit the brakes, Chief. I know. Just shut up and keep quiet. Come on. Come on. We got 20 seconds. 19 seconds. Alternate the levers. How do you do this? Fuck. You fucking blew up a fucking... God damn it, Barrett. It's all your fault. Fucking... Seconds are ticking, Bahamut. Come on, no time for vanity. Shoot the laser. Dead. Beautiful. B E E A beautiful. Still warrior bangle. We got it. Yeah. Oh, that did so much damage, laser. Holy fuck. Laser is an underrated move. This is the Menardes Pair! <laughs> Everything went right this time. This uh um no! 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 I... Oh! I I had a little freak out. I I may I may have freaked out prematurely. Uh, we're okay. Everyone's okay. Aren't you the ones that stopped the Shinra train? The Shinra was just about to destroy our lives again. Might be full of junk, but this is the only home we got, Barrett. Uh, of course, we're all born and raised in the coal mines. No matter how tough it gets, our hearts burn like bright red like coal. To hell with meteor. We're coal miners, ain't we? We'll dig a deep tunnel and hide from the meteor. That's it. I got it out of the well. Isn't it amazing, Rock? Ultimate materia, yes. Just teleport instantly. It's fine. You can't. Oh, that's right. You can't. How long does it take to level this shit up? Let's just uh, see how, how much MP I get. I like the way Sid runs. Just these shitty battles. I'm curious how much AP or whatever the fuck it's called they give. RP? Do they give RP? Have you heard the news? Have you heard the news? <laughs> this is what streaming has done to me. Something so incredibly harmless and stupid like that. Immediately I start chuckling to myself at a post office. And no one else would understand. Except you all. Well, most of you. Yeah, so there's a rumor going around that I have baby hands. And the rumor is that my hands are like ungodly small. And then Mike says I have baby hands. And uh, people are like, well, how does Vin play guitar? And Mike was telling people that I play really tiny guitars. <laughs> I mean, I have baby hands, of course. They're, they're mutantly small. <laughs> so I play, I play tiny guitars. I play baboo guitars. Now you're a baby man, 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 man. There's going to be people here that believe forever that I have babu hands. <laughs> you know, it's it's like like I've said a thousand times, people are just going to believe what they want to believe. <laughs> and if that's one of them, then the one day someone one of them is going to meet me and they're going to be like, "Wait a minute. Why well, are his hands not really small?" Whoa. Oh no, what the fuck is this, guys? What is this? You hang in there. Thanks. Damn, I guess we have to protect this area too. I remember this was one of my first things I've seen when I saw Final Fantasy VII for the first time. I remember it was this, this guy Frank's house. There was this mini game happening at the time. These polygons though. That I remember, and again, this was mind blowing to me and I had no idea what was going on. I just remembered how cool everything looked. Like he went like that and showed me the condor. I was like, whoa, condor. I don't even know what the hell this thing is supposed to be. It's a beast. That polygon represents a beast. And Commander is dead. Nice. Uh, arg. Again, I always thought when I was younger that that was just a, a decoration. I didn't think it was actually a real condor.
Rest in peace, bird. Received Phoenix material. Huh? What's this? Damn, man, it's huge materia! So, the last huge materia that the Shinra's after is in the underwater reactor in Junin. We gotta go get there first and beat him no matter what. Jais! Jais, just calm down, alright? What, what's wrong? You don't like GIFs on the internet? Through. T-H-R-O-U-G-H. No, you mean Throge. Throge. Scene Bean. My favorite actor, Scene Bean. Col uh, yeah, Colonel. C-O-L-O-N-E-L. -E Colonel. It's me, Snake. This flavor, you, you know, it just tastes like a big sugary fart. Damn, that's fucking weapon! All the time to show up! Okay then, come on, you fuck! Uh, Morty, we, 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 uh, what, what, do you, what do you think of this monster? Oh, gee, I don't know, Rick. Uh, it doesn't look too friendly to me. M M Morty, Morty we, got, we gotta go back in time. We gotta save Hitler, Morty. Uh, gee, I don't know, Rick. How are we gonna do that? You, 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 gotta, you gotta pull down his pants and lick his balls, Morty. It's important. You fucked. You trying to escape? Damn, man, just a little bit more and I would have smashed him. This is bad. The mainstream is kicking up. Something way bigger than that last one is on its way. No good. Get out of here. God damn it. Tifa. Cloud, get out of here. This is bad. The tremors are getting worse. Wait a minute, Cloud. Doctor, shouldn't we move him somewhere rather than stay here? Might be safer to take refuge in a wide open space. Don't you worry about a thing, Cloud. I'll see to it that you get somewhere safe. These chippy figures. I just, I find it weird how this game alternates between these style characters and the really realistic ones. Cloud is now in the juice. So is Tifa. Iaga! Welcome to Cloud Subconscious. You're searching, aren't you, Cloud? Searching for yourself. I can help too. We'll work together to try to get the real you back. No, Cloud. I've been hiding it for some time. Afraid that if I told you, something terrible might happen. But I'm not going to hide anything anymore. You weren't here. Cloud did not come to Nibelheim five years ago. I waited, but Cloud never came. The two that were ordered here were Sephiroth and another person. All right, let's go. I was devastated. I wanted to be noticed. I thought if I got stronger, I could get someone to notice. Someone to notice you? Who? Who? You know who. You, that's who. Do you know where this window goes to, Tifa? Fine, I'll go. My room? It was my first time there. Hey look, Cloud's coming. You think he wants to come in? Tifa always used to be with this threesome. <gasps> I used to think they were all stupid. What? You were all childish, laughing at every little stupid thing. I really wanted to play with everyone, but I was never allowed into the group. What happened on this day? Was it a special day? This was the day... Tifa's mother... The day mom died. I want to see mom. I wonder if there, there's anything beyond that mountain. Mount Nebel is scary. Many people have died there. No one crosses that mountain alive. How about those that died? Did mama pass through the mountains? One kid was like, nope! Fuck it, I'm out! Tifa missed her step. I ran to her, but didn't make it in time. Both of us fell off the cliff. Back then, I only scarred my knees, but... Cloud, why'd you bring Tifa to a place like this? The hell's the matter with you? What if she dies? Tifa was in a coma for seven days. I got out of control. I'd get into fights, not even caring who it was. It was the first time I heard about Sephiroth. If I got strong like Sephiroth, then everyone might... Zack, 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 Zack? You remembered. That's right, it was Zack who came to Nibelheim with Sephiroth. Then, where were you, Cloud? Cloud, did you see it all? I saw everything. Uh, who are you? Mom. Tifa. My town. Give it back. So much respect for you, I admired you. That's what happened. You were there. You were watching me. Mm, so it was you. Hey, Cloud. If you're feeling sick, 
Why don't you take that mask off? Yeah. Yeah, this is me. I never made it as a member of Soldier. I even left my hometown telling everyone I was going to join, but... I was so embarrassed, I didn't want to see anybody. You came. You, you kept your promise. So you really did come when I was in trouble. Cloud. Kill. Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Just stab him. Don't... don't warn him. Ugh. Don't... push... your luck. It can't be. Cloud, it's really you, isn't it? Yeah, Tifa. <clears throat> we finally meet again. You stupid jerk, you had us all worried sick. Ugh. Cloud, are you alright? I see we're in the live stream, aren't we? Everyone's waiting. Let's get back, Cloud. Back to everyone. Yo, you alright, Tifa? Barrett, you came back. I, uh, Cloud, where is he? Worry about him. He's a tough one. But I can't win against you. You're some kind of lady. You're some kind of lady. People have so many things pent up inside themselves. They can forget so many things. Strange, isn't it? Everyone. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Cloud. All you've been doing is apologizing. He never was in Soldier. I made up the stories about what happened to me five years ago about being in Soldier. I left my village looking for glory, but never made it into Soldier. I was so ashamed of being so weak, and I heard this story from my friend Zack. I created an illusion of myself made up from what I had seen in my life. I continued to play the charade as if it were true. Illusion, huh? Pretty damn strong for illusion, I'd say. I'm physically built like someone in Soldier. Hojo's plan was to clone Sephiroth wasn't that difficult. It's just the same procedure they used when creating members of Soldier. You see, someone in Soldier isn't simply exposed to Mako energy. Their bodies are actually injected with Genova cells. The combination of Genova cells, Sephiroth's strong will, and my own weaknesses are what created me. Everyone knew that. I'm Cloud. The master of my own illusory world. I can't remain trapped in an illusion anymore. I'm gonna live my life without pretending. You're sure messed up, Cloud. That means ain't no difference from before. By the way, Cloud, what are you gonna do now? Don't tell me you're gonna leave the ship. I'm the reason why Meteor is falling towards us. That's why I have to do everything in my power to fight this thing. Good. Then you're gonna keep fighting to save the planet? It's like you always told me, Barrett. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, you mean that? What? I don't understand. There ain't no getting off of this train we on. Come on, Cloud, don't fuck around. We're going to join him, boy. Glad you're back with us. Escape from a world of illusions. Hmm. I wonder which is better. Oh, fuck off. I know how tough it is being a leader because I've been one. I always forget who has what materia. Me too, Sid. So that's Zack on the left, Cloud on the right. Hey, this is your food. So they're in these things here. This is the experiments. Zack, being a strong person, was able to handle it more so than Cloud. It smells a little though. Don't complain. You look pretty good with that. Well, yo, old guy, we at Midgar yet? Shut up, you're lucky I even gave you a ride. What are you gonna do once we get to Midgar? Cloud's got Mako poisoning right now. I know what I'm gonna do. I've got a place I can crash for a while. No way, the mother lives there too. Guess that's out. Yep. Gotta change my plans. No matter what I do, I need some money first. Hey, wanna start a business? What could we do? Hey, Cloud. Think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey, old guy, wh what do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still young, ain't ya? Young folks should try everything. Even anal. Uh, you gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go out and look for what you really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. Look, there's Zack's famous squats. He just does them whenever he can. Hey, of course. Got a lot of brains and skill that the other guys don't. That settles it. I'm gonna become a mercenary. Yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, didn't you even hear a word I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So, Cloud, what are you gonna do? Ah, just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that. We're friends, right? Mercenaries, Cloud. That's what you and me are gonna be. Understood? Cloud?
What do you want to do with him? Uh, forget it. Just leave him. This is the end of Advent um, of Crisis Core. This whole sequence. This this right here. It's expanded on. It's a little ridiculous, actually, but it. I think it has a pretty good emotional impact. But it, it's um, this sequence ends the game, Crisis Core. You play as Zack in Crisis Core, and thus Cloud begins to awaken from his Mako poisoning slightly, wanders into Midgar, hops on a train, and is found by Tifa at the train station. I may be mistaken, but doesn't it feel like we're missing something? What are we missing? All right, let's see how hard you trained. Attention, charge. <laughs> That's the underwater reactor, come back. Someone just asked, would I recommend Vegemite to my viewers? Well, I've described it as Satan's asshole, so no, I probably wouldn't. How about whoever stays alive gets to take her out? All right, you're on. But what if both of us? Well, I don't even talk about that. I should hyper my, my dudes. There went two perfectly good men. Okay, back to work. Back to work. No, I'm sleepy. For Jenin. Yo, Eggman. Eggman, get to hear me. Shit. Oh, shit. Doesn't this fucker have something good? Why is there a skeleton sailing a boat in a tunnel underwater? What do you mean, Mr. Katz? Why is that weird? <laughs> Look at this skeleton. Fuck this. God damn it. No ah, fuck! Sid! Just healed it. <laughs> Oh, oh, I fucking shit, mate! Oh, it's fucking garbage, all of it is fucking complete fucking shite. Oh, Barrett, why did you crit? Barrett, you fucking idiot! <laughs> oh, sweet fucking god, why is this so hard? It's, it, it, they're, they're in on it. Both Barrett and Sid, they know what I'm trying to do. And they're trying their fucking hardest to prevent it from happening. Just cloud attacks from here on out. That's it, just cloud. Just Cloud. We don't have counterattack on. There's no way they could fuck this up now. <laughs> I thought added effect plus morph morphed enemies. Why didn't he morph? Added effect morph doesn't morph. That is funny because I was told it did morph. In fact, Sid needs to not crit. If Sid crits, I'm going to remove Sid from my team permanently. Alright, Sid. Good job, buddy. Good job. Now we're in business. Go on, I. What are you doing? No, leave him alone. Barrett's dead. He just killed Barrett. Guidebook. Sweet fucking Jesus. Finally, Barrett's one weakness. Oars. We spent 10 minutes trying to kill a skeleton on a wooden boat inside an underwater cave. Underwater glass tunnel, excuse me. We turned him with our sword into a book. We used a sword to turn a skeleton on a wooden boat in an underwater glass tunnel into a book. You are not getting this huge materia. Is that an innuendo? Quills. Hard attacker. <laughs> Hard attacker. The huge materia. In my pants, that is. Oh, wubba lubba dub dub, see you next week. We're gonna help transport the huge material, Reno. You know I don't work for cheap. Either give it to us or else. Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. So instead, here's a giant polygonal nightmare. Um, Barrett? Ba Barrett? Are you, are Barrett? Barrett's in a pickle. Uh-oh, Barrett's getting fucked up. Barrett's dead. He, he, he returned a corpse. God damn it! Leave him alone! God damn it! What even is this? Oh, this is bullshit! Okay, this this time. Already with the arm grab. Already Barrett is out of play. No, 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 don't arm grab. Who's the arm grabbing now? Cloud. Goodbye, Cloud. Rest in piss. I mean, you see this shit, right? This is come on. What kind of boss is this?
Cloud's back. Barrett's back, kinda. Cloud's gone. <laughs> now. Now, let's see who's the big dick. Oh, Ungar Max! Are you guys ready for the Ungar? Ungary? Grab a Snickers. Yeah! Yeah, Ungar. Come on, Cloud, follow me. Damn, man, what the... Hey, yo. Remember, I was the leader first, man. we come a long way since we got on that train. Lots of things changed. This and that. All right, thanks, Barrett. <laughs> Whatever you say. We don't have much time. I don't want to die. There's still so much more I've got to do. I never even got to do my special victory dance in battle. All right, then. Make this your first victory. Go on, show them. Yes, sir. Remember your last training. Begin. Yes, sir. Good junk. Just got to do this. See? Now you take over. Thank you. I, I am happy to be a hostage. Piloting a submarine is very difficult. I am completely clueless. Riveting dialogue. Biggs. Wage. But I said fuck once, and then, you know, I realized, okay, they're gonna bleep that. And they said it. They're like, yeah, we'll bleep it. Don't worry about it. Um, but then... <laughs> Like, the rest of the interview, I was like, oh, man, it would be great if I could say fuck right about now. Man, I would love to say fuck. It just feels good. Fuck. Mission complete. Well, okay. Cloud just sh got shat out of the submarine. Lucrezia! Yep. Oh, I remember this thing. This thing's weird. Unknown. It's a Cronenberg- Oh, Rick, it's a Cronenberg monster! So many Cronenbergs. There you go. Defeating Cronenbergs with style. Oh, that's a Cronenberg if I've ever seen one. What the hell's the name of the Unknown 2? They're so weird, they don't even have fucking names. Steel. Tooth. The tooth ring. We got it, guys. The tooth. Tooth. Ring. So Shinra's new secret weapon was on this airship. Wow, nice random battle rate. What Cronenberg are we fighting now? Oh, a series of Cronenbergs. Very good. Oh shit, this guy's taking Roy off the grid! Oh, look at this Cronenberg. Oh my sweet god. Big guard. I'm afraid of this Cronenberg. Uh, Cloud. Let me drive, Cloud. Let me, let me fly the ship, Cloud. I know, I know you're a little drunk. What gives you that impression, Sid? You're, you're flying the ship sideways, Cloud. Wait, 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 wait! I know this area pretty well. It gets pretty tough past here. Better get ready. Further down, I don't see any signs of danger. Also, there's something unnatural in the way Yuffie's acting. No, it's really tough. There they are, catch them. Why oh, is the Shinra? Hey, that's not them. These are the other guys from before. Get them! Grab them and ask them questions later. I guess we'll get started on this quest. It's probably gonna take a hundred years. Hundred years! thought something was wrong, so that's it. Look, my materia's been stolen. Hey, where the hell's that damn kid? We must go after her and retrieve our materia back. Considering we're missing materia, may as well put on some weapons. Oh wait, look, we got some materia. It's like Yuffie could only run off with a certain amount. I want that big one. Who the fuck can use that? Like, Cloud Sword is big enough. Could you imagine trying to use that top one? That's absurdly large. Oh, look, it's the Turks. We literally just ran into the Turks. Get ready to die. Elena, yeah, you talk too much. What are we doing way out here in the middle of nowhere? We're taking our vacation and resting up from our work. Now our vacation is ruined. Even the booze tastes bad now. Drink. Rude. How long have we been a team? Been hard times being a Turk, but all in all, I'm glad I did it. I even got to meet a bunch of wingnuts like you. To the Turks, to Reno, cheers. They're enjoying their vacation. Vincent is extra sad. <laughs> God damn it, Yuffie. Guga, what do you want? Don't have ga anything much, but you should be able to go. Rest yourselves here. Goga, make yourselves at home. Fireworks are illegal in New York City. People were setting them off at like, they were setting them off like like a block away from where we were. So we we had a nice view of a lot of fireworks actually. It was it was pretty cool. Why are they illegal? I think it has something to do with people blowing themselves up. Did you know 
that there is a, a person this year that actually tried to light fireworks on their head and then died. Isn't that cool? Lighting fireworks on your head. What could go wrong? Everything is going to be fine. I'm just going to set off a bunch of fireworks on the top of my head and hope for the best. I think another dude tried to light a mortar in his hand, lost the hand, or died. These are weird too. Oh, there she is. You guys hear the sound effect? It's repeating endlessly. Whenever you walk into a cat, it just repeats the sound effect forever. Yes, punch the giant ceramic pot. Where are you going, Yuffie? You're not going anywhere. Uh, okay, I know. I was wrong. You win. I'll give you back your materia. Whoa! The materia's mine. Tough! Yeah, that's right. When you're looking for the materia, remember, you gotta steal it. S-T-E-E-L. Oh, right. Steal, get it? Who do you think I- Ow! What are you doing, jerk? Ho, ho. Oh shit, it's Don Corneo again. Oh, 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 I don't remember the voice I did for him. Corneo. Oh, oh, finally got a new chicky. Two for one, in fact. Oh, oh, hey, let go of me. You're going to regret this. Oh, 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 oh. There he is. It's Corneo. Don't let him get away. Wow, these soldiers are stupid. I wonder if someone on the localization team was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's call him C Cornholio. I need materia for my bunghole. Hmm. That corneo is good at escaping. Elena! Oh, Jesus, fucking run, you guys. I can't- we can't run away from grass? This is why they- they said the battle system has to be reworked, because of shit like this. Let me go! Hmm, delicious scrumptious. I think I've just found a new hobby. Which shall it be? Hmm, should I go with her? Hey, I'm one of the Turks. I don't think you can get away with this. Or maybe her! Oh, God! If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have taken rope escape lessons more seriously. Mm, I've made my choice. My companion for the night will be the cheerful one. Grossness! Oh, and she's saucy too. Whee! Whee! <laughs> What's going on? Who's there? Well, no long time, no see. Maybe God will forgive an ugly fuck like you, but I won't. Be quiet. None of you know how much I've suffered since then. I don't really give a damn. So you're gonna let the two girls go, or else I'm gonna break your arm. I'm gonna make you play with my new pet, so you won't get in the way of a search for a bride. You're just a little creepy creep, Corneo. Raps, come here. Wow, look at Cloud's attack, Jesus. Whoa! Yep, wait. Just wait a second. Shut up. Just listen to me, it won't take long. Why do you think a bad guy like me would swallow his pride and plead for his life? Because he's sure to win. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Makes me so mad. If I push this button, they'll fall upside down. And we'll have a squashed... We'll have a squashed tomatoes. Damn. So this is how a loser lives. <laughs> I guess I'm the last one laughing last. No, that would be us. Yeehaw. What? What's going on? Who's there? Yeah, we're gonna take care of you. Personally. Damn it! They're all going with me! Oh. Alright, Corneo, this will be over quick, so listen up. Why do you think we went through all the trouble teaming up with these guys to get you? Because we were ready to die, because we were sure of victory, because we were clueless. Two? Number two? All wrong. No, wait, stop! Up. The correct answer was because it's our job. Oh shit! Put sunglasses on over the sunglasses. Wow, perfect! Now all the material is back in its rightful place. Hey, the placement of it's all messed up. This is why I don't like Yuffie. Ah! God damn it, Yuffie! Why'd you do this? I learned it from watching you, Dad. This is how you show your father how much you love him. You send him away on a floating piece of the ground and have a giant fuck dragon shoot him in the face. The terrorists are here. Trash. God damn it, what the hell do they think they're gonna do with my rocket? I'm gonna kick those fucking Shinra right out of my rocket. Use the Vaseline. Got it. 
Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. We're gonna load a materia bomb in this and blow up Meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. We plan to run it into Meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Shara's doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. More hundred years, Morty? <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand the materia is precious. Uh, I also understand what you're thinking. I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Science is a, is a power created and developed by humans, and science might just be what saves this planet. The hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey, Palmer. What the hell did you do? I said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. God damn it, Shara. Why'd she pick today to get fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely fucked up. I uh, locked up. Hey, hey, hey! Almost liftoff. What the? No countdown. Just don't seem the same without it. Hey, 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 blast off! Wow. Yeah, no, this is going to definitely not end up like a Kerbal Space Station or space thing. Was it called Ker Kerbal game? Kerbal Space game? Space program. You know, I didn't play a lot of Kerbal, but I played enough of it to know that this rocket is shoddily designed and that shit should have just returned straight back to the ground. Finally made it. Outer space. Let's see. How's the course set? Yep, it's headed for a collision with Meteor. Can we do something? We can't just leave it. That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change the course. So this is the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young and you give up that easily? I'm not gonna crash into Meteor. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. Hey, wait a second. What's gonna happen to the huge Materia? You want the Materia, do whatever you want. That Materia should be there after you climb that ladder. What order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know, just try and punch the code randomly. Unauthorized user identified. Protection system will activate in three minutes. Seems like you missed the code. If we don't enter the correct passcode before the protection system activates, we won't be able to get the materia back. Oh, I did it! Alright, Cloud, it's unlocked. Yep. My great advice saved the day. Urgh. Damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sid, come on, we got Barrett. Damn, can't lift it. Come on, Barrett, you can lift it. Now, don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash into Meteor. I can't go without my friends. You fuck! No time to worry about other people. You're stupid! You're really fucking stupid! Tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Shara, you were right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Shara? I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. You stupid fucking fuck fuck! Sorry. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Uh, hey, Sharon, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've been checking it till now. Then I'm relieved. Thanks. Shara saves the day. So, this is outer space. There's a lot of gravity in outer space, huh? Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. So long, Shinra number 26. not outer space yeah it's just like space like just above upper atmosphere and, and thus the rocket crashes into meteor freaky. I remember when I saw this for the first time as a kid, I actually, I, like a little piece of me, like, felt anxiety. Like, my stomach, there's a knot in my stomach. 
from just from this cutscene. Rufus and the others' plan was a failure. What a bust. But I kind of hoped it would work. How wide and big. <laughs> no matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Welcome to Cloud's wide and big suit emporium. And there's there's one customer. And it's, it's this guy. It's just about one of the best things I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. This whole shit-fucked life. There's one thing that makes me happy, and it's David Byrne in a big fucking suit. How am I gonna protect the planet from Meteor? Uh, I'm still thinking about that. Alright, never mind then. Did you hear something? The planet's scream or Meteor? Is this... Is this the planet? Let's go see Grandfather. To Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. I like how in, in the mid-90s, mid to late 90s, Square's thing was giant fucking thing about to destroy the planet. That's just what they did, and they did it well. Lavos, the Mana Dragon, same thing with Majora. It's it's dark magic. Like, these two things are fucking, like, all-encompassing fuck magic. My boy Boogan's gonna float. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, this is a cutscene from... Um, earlier in the game. Square's lazy, using the same cutscene. Uh, where's the new and exclusive angles? You remember when the Junin Cannon disappeared? Actually, Rufus moved it! Moved it? That big thing? Where? To a place where Materia... No. Where Mako is gathered. And where is that? Amazing. So, how did they move that giant fuck-huge cannon? And how did they do it in such a short time? And with what technology? Helicopters? Those little helicopters? <laughs> He's all untextured and amazing looking. Hey, hey, what are you trying to do? Break the high wind? Let's fight on the ground! I never understood why they made this thing take so goddamn long to get here. Shoot gun. Fight alien. Hey, you guys want to see the second most powerful summon in the game? I bet you thought Neo Bahamut was pretty fucking cool, huh? Nope. Bahamut Zero. So much cooler. Exists only in space. What's up, Mr. Monster? What you looking at? No, it's feeling something. Yeah, it senses murder. How do you know this, Cloud? Come on. What do you mean it senses murder? What the fuck? To my ship! <laughs> wow, the whole city went dark. It used so much power that the windows of Shinra headquarters blew out. Giant gaping hole through the monster. He's dead, Jim. Yes, defeat Sephiroth. Defeat the son of that beloved woman. Am I on the verge of committing another sin? Uh, uh, Lucrezia! Hojo, stop! The cannon, no, Midgar itself is in danger. One or two Midgars? It's a small price to pay. Show me, Sephiroth. Go beyond the powers of science. <laughs> Yo, do something, you big cat. <laughs> Oh, now we got parachutes. This fucking cuts. I like how it starts off all FMV, and now it's... It's the derpy versions. Okay, so there's there's nothing over there except crackles. Ugh, Lucretia! I love these, these Midgarian weapons. Crazy, so these are battle bots, guys. And Cromwell. Which is the most interesting name for a tank I've probably ever heard in a video game. Look at this guy. Just manhole. Little devil in a hole. Ready for some Ungar?
Ah, uh, fuck. Memes? Is Vinny doing memes today? Oh my god, look at this thing. What's the name of Barrett's ultimate limit break? That's the name of his limit break? Just full of surprises! Come on, we've got work to do. Not really up for it, but orders were to seek you out and kill. So, what are you gonna do? Let's go. I know we have a weird relationship, but we have to end this. Like Turks. You can actually not fight them if you did the Wutai subquest, which we did. And I think you get some dialogue that's like, oh, well, you know, fuck it. Everything's fucked. So just whatever. <laughs> that's the dialogue. Exactly. Fuck it. Everything's fucked. So whatever. More of these wonderful enemies that take forever to attack. Oh, wow, that is fast. <laughs> oh, my shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. It's done. It's already done. <laughs> Get the sherbet! We just got the sherbet, guys. <laughs> like, just the random pieces of instrumentation that you get when you unlock the frames, and it goes three... Th guys, 300 frames a second. This is the future of gaming. What do you mean the human eye can't detect 300 frames a second? This is just corporate buzzwords. This is bullshit. I can see all 300 frames. All right, let's, let's just... <laughs> oh god, it's just piano scales. Let's hope there's no random battles up here. Remember when we took these earlier on in the game? Look at, look at, this. look how fast it's going. We're up already. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it, Morty. We did it, Morty. Uh oh. Uh oh, it just erased. There's no reason why we, we should have done that, Morty. You and Matsu is so advanced that he was able to write the music at 300 frames a second and then slow it down for our mortal ears. Oh my god, really? Oh, I fucked it up. Whoops. I now have 40 mega elixirs. How's that for cheddar cheese? <laughs> is this the proud Claude? Is that the name of this enemy, if I remember correctly? I'll show you the destructive power of the Proud Claude. Why is it called the Proud Claude? Why, dear Jesus Christ Almighty in heaven, is it called the Proud Claude? I'm gonna stack four hero drinks on Cloud. Here we go. Uh, that's pretty good. That's not as... I thought it was gonna be 9999. There's some, some moments that were a little bit... Knee blend. What? What? Why is that called knee blend? <laughs> what? I will not blend the knee. Whew. Silly smoke. Don't breathe this. It looks like the proud Claude has bent the knee, and proud Claude is now is is very dead. Whoa! What is this tank? Oh, this rivals Triceratops tank. Gross. Gross pans are big. The name of it is Gross pans are big. The Ungar could not be stopped, guys. My Ungar is maximum. Oh, I got his 8-inch cannon. No wonder he was calling himself... Big. Hmm. Cock joke. I don't understand their swords. Like, they're... Like, cones. They're just cone... It's a cone sword. But he's not stabbing with it, he's slashing with it. I believe that's armor. Look at this! He's turned into a frog! Oh, that's so good! No, I mean, you can- you can hurt someone by hitting someone with a blunt object. That's the same as hitting someone with a bat. But, I mean, it just strikes me as odd that he's got this cone weapon that looks like a lance. That's basically a cone sword that he's striking people with the blunt side of it and not doing stabbing motions with it. Hey, this is... Missing score. Oh, this is great. Hold on, Hojo. Hojo, stop right there. Oh, the failure. At least remember my name. It's Cloud! Energy levels. It's at 83%. It's taking too long. My son is in need of power and help. There's the only reason. Your son? <laughs> I d Although he doesn't know? <laughs> what will Sephiroth think when he finds out? I I I'm his father, always looking d d down on me like that. Sephiroth is your son? I offered the woman with my child to Professor Gast's Genova project. Sephiroth was still in the womb. We, we took the cells of Genova. You. I can't believe you're the one who did this. I was wrong. 
the one that should have slept was... You, Hojo! I've injected Genova cells into my own body! <laughs> Here are... <laughs> my results! Wow. You okay there, Hojo? You're looking a little green. What the fuck are these? They summon squids, bad rap, and... Poodler. <laughs> now, let's see how the Mako Juice is reacting! Mako Juice. Heletic Hojo. Okay, this is what you do when you see a giant thing like this. You don't just kill it with fire, you kill it with dragon lasers. From space. You don't, you don't get anywhere near it, you just fucking blast it from orbit. What movie or game am I thinking about that had a satellite that did this shit? And you kill it with fire as well. Definitely want to kill it with fire. Oh, my Ungar levels are reaching maximum. Cloud. Words aren't the only thing that tell people what you're thinking. Uh, good morning, Cloud. It's it's very heavily implied that they got uh, together. Which is a long time in the coming. No pun intended. But here's my question. Why in the middle of, of a field? Usually in the game, you know, the fields are riddled with monsters and aids and just... It's, it's just bad. So why not go to the town of Calm. They could have just rented it for a night. They got plenty of money. Inns are cheap. Hun hundred, hundred, hundred years more. Hundred gil, Morty. A hundred gil. That's all it costs to get a room. Don't, uh, don't be cheap at the end of the world, Tifa. But you know, Sid. Hey, Nanaki. If you butt in now, you never know what they'll say later. Are you watching? Oh God. Oh God. That is a horrifying thought. They're just there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the way Cloud thrust. <laughs> Why such a puzzled look? You don't want me to come? No, it's just I thought you were always so cold. I thought you didn't care what was happening. Cool. I guess that's just how I am. Sorry. And I can be like a vampire. We didn't come back for your spiky-headed ass. We came back for Marlene. Guess it's just my what you call feelings or something. I, I, I ain't got no words now. Although she's not here, she left us a window of opportunity. We can't let it go like this. She was smiling to the end. We have to do something or that smile will just freeze like that. Counting on you, Sid. Yeah, yeah. There's two lover levers here that have been bugging me for a while now. Let me try them out. Oh shit, super powered high wind. Man, I'm gonna stick it to him. What is it, Sid? Oh, some incredible force losing control. Get the hell out of here, flunkies. Didn't I tell you all to go? Oh, that's the second time I've heard the word flunkies in this game. All right, you jokers. Hold me down with everything you got. Geronimo, flunky Joe. Dicks three, here we come. You know, there's some swanky shit going on over here. This is the Chocobo Sage. What is he? Who are you? Me, I'm... I don't know. You don't know who you are? Been a while since I came in any thought. I wonder what they used to call me. Oh, yeah. They used to call me the Chocobo Sage. That's right. Right, that was at the Chocobo Sage. Now, what can I do for you? Come on. I mean, you gotta let me do a cheese every now and then. Paired magic used four times. Oh, God. I remember using this with Knights of... Could this, doesn't this work with summons, too? This is, like, insane cheese. Four Knights of the Round in, the row, in a row. Ten minutes later. Okay, guys, get ready for craziness. This is how we're gonna find Ultima Weapon. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Oh god, turn off. Come on, do something. Do something! I hate him. Oh no, no, he's, he's gonna blow up Nibelheim, I guess. 
He's gonna blow up a mountain? Yeah, good job. You fucking bastard fuck. Shit, shite fuck. Where the fuck is this shite fuck? Oh, got it. This has got to be one of the most annoying things to do in this game. <laughs> Yuffie just died. We made Yuffie so sick from that, that she threw up her insides. If- Oh, there it is! I saw it! I saw it! He's, he's over the ocean! He's being a, a dick! There it is! <laughs> oh, I feel crazy! I feel as crazy as fucking Hojo was. Don't fly away. Don't fly away. We just got here! Oh! Nope, not here. Why am I still awake? Uh, I lost him again. You son of a bitch bastard. You, you motorboat and son of a bitch, you. Damn. Damn. Eh. Eh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Kill. Kill. You bastard. I can't fly this ship with one hand. There it is. What? 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 No. What? Sharon. No. Sharon. Sharon. No. Worst thing ever. We're worse than Hitler. Ma All right, maybe not that. That's that's a little bit far, but you know, as bad at least. Where are you? Where are you? Reveal yourself. Reveal. Kill. Gotcha. You fuck. You fuck. Four times flare. Kill him with air, shall we? Oh my god. About goddamn time. Toof ring. Uh, 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 uh. It just sounds like someone's going, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Turn around, you guys. There's plants behind you. You're in a forest. Who would have thought? Oh, unleash the Ungar. My favorite attack in the game. I get excited when I see the name. You wouldn't like me when I'm hungry. Jang Trang. And Typhoon Materia, there it is. Typhoon. Oh, is it Slimer from Ghostbusters? Barrett got Typhoon then. Wait, is that really how it's spelled? Hang on a second. Yeah, it's Typhoon. God damn it. God damn it, Final Fantasy VII. What the? Don't get hit by a train. Thank you, old man. I like breaking into an old man's home and having him tell me not to get hit by a train. RPGs are weird. What would my stripper name be? Vine Slut. And no, I'm not proud to admit that. Oh, there it is. Just some random... Some... Just some rando. Heh. <laughs> no sweat. Hey. Uh, are you ready for the happiest place on Earth? The Gold Saucer! 30,000 for a lifetime pass. This will be the last time I come here, and, and now I can come here forever. Of course! Of course! Of course. Of course. Yeah, break some more of my materia. Perfect. Never thought I'd ever say that. And we've got Omni Slash. Oh, I got this. One million health, no problem. No, man, no. Definitely... Definitely not what you said it was. No, don't do that to Barrett. Barrett just got here. Literally just got here. Literally just got here. <laughs> yes! It is done! <laughs> this guy doing with master materia what three master materia what the fuck was he doing with it this guy's insane that guy is insane i don't know how he got this shit some guy just some fucking guy who's got the most powerful materia in the entire game look at this look at all these commands cloud has look summon Every summon. Have you seen Knights of the Round yet? No, you haven't. Now you have. This is what Chocobo Racing does. If you get the gold Chocobo, you get this. I 
can't tell you how many times I've seen this when I was like 14 years old when the game first came out. A skip button would have been very welcome in this game. Oh, is it true that if you press square during the thing that it levels up the attack? Because it's just canceling the menu. Anyway, yeah, these bikes are so fucking dead right now, they have no idea what hit them. And then the final night. Oh, it's only in Final Fantasy VIII. Right, right. Well, it looks like we officially fucking destroyed this game. Yes! That was so fucking easy compared to... Emerald. Let's let's do it. Let's trade what you got, man. Oh, oh, you know, gold chocobo. One of the rarest things on the planet. You know what? I didn't do, and I regret. Double cut was on the fucking thing with no growth. We could have had four time cut. God damn it! Hey, kill one of these chocobos. I'm I'm in the business to raise chocobos. I don't know much about them. I got this gold chocobo. Is that a good chocobo? A gold one? Uh, Sonny, you, you've you've got the rarest thing in the world. What you mean you don't know much about chocobos? I don't know, some guy in the town gave it to me, he walked up his stairs. Sonny, what do you mean it walked up his stairs? Chocobos don't walk upstairs. They're birds. What is he keeping chocobos in a house for? I don't know, but I got this golden chocobo. Can you teach me how to feed it? Alright. Dio. <laughs> hey, Joel. Look who I got. Dio the chocobo. <laughs> Diox W? No, 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 we need a vowel. Diox, comma. <laughs> Dioxuk. What a horrible name. Dioxuk. <laughs> the Golden Chocobo. That sounds like a Final Fantasy, like, 16 name. Like, Square is gonna sort of start naming their characters that. They will have precisely one zipper per limb. Like, the, the character's mouth will be a zipper that they have to open manually for which from which to speak. This is where the chocobo goes to hell. Gonna ride across the sea. Gonna eat a bag of farts that smell. Like, I'm pretty knowledgeable about this game from what I remember of it. I would say I'm much more knowledgeable about Chrono Trigger. I used to go to Chrono Compendium a lot and kind of read up on fan theories and all like the beta assets. That game almost doesn't feel like a game to me. It almost feels like it was... I heard it described once as a game that was fully formed, plucked from the ether by Square. Like, there was no developing Chrono Trigger, it just, it was just there. Level 4 death? Oh, come on, that's not gonna work. Oh my god, did that work! <laughs> Holy shit! <coughs> oh god! <coughs> Squirtle! I should summon Knights of the Round to kill these three, like, fucking slugs. Why not? Hey guys, now we can talk for 10 minutes. Jump on platform. There's enemies up here. There be enemies up here. What is it? It's it's a fucking human scissor shrimp. Night, man! Barrett's gonna die. Oh, he was killed in a fucking freak scissor accident. It's all over now. With this. <laughs> he runs away. Oh man, Materia Hunter Yuffie sounds like last chapter of Materia Forever. All life on this planet, indeed the very life of this planet, is in our hands. I'm so happy to have met you all. We really... Well, looks like this is our last big job. This will be the end of it. Sephiroth's probably crapping his pants right about now. Cloud, I like the way you thr thrust. This is the center of the planet. 
Let's get going. All right, everyone. Damn, again. Stop saying it like a wimp. Can't you say move out or something? Uh, move out. Didn't sound forced at all. What? Look at the number. Shit, they're coming out in full force. Cloud, you go first. I'm fighting here too. Shut up. It won't do us no good with everyone back here. Barrett's right. You take two of us with you and go first. The rest will catch up with you later. It's like a practice run before the real thing. Yeah, major practice run. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Probably more fun than fighting Sephiroth down there. Mm, this might be fun to pass time. They're coming. They're already on the floor next to us. Cloud, hurry up, make up your mind. Wait, what the fuck is this? Oh, right, a, a question mark. My favorite magic. With which to hurt enemies. That's Pandora's box? Uh, okay. Where are we? What the hell? Genova? Yep, is that Genova? Jesus fucking Christ. It, it just looked like a battered wiffle ball. I can just get real cheap and just knights of the roundness. Or we could just do that. That's fine too. The cheap is so real. <laughs> it's so real! I like how this whole ending is just completely abstract. We're just floating inside of a fucking sphere. Ugh, is this the true power of Sephiroth? My, my body, I can't control my body! My front legs, my hind legs, my tail's about to tear off! This is definitely not good, he's way out of our league! I don't know if I could go on. There, it's there. Holy, holy is there. The holy is shining. Aerith's prayer is shining. It's not over yet. This isn't the end yet. Not only Aerith, holy is the prayer of Avalanche, Marlene, and Dine, everyone on the planet. I was frozen in time, but now I feel as though my time is finally about to begin. Sephiroth, now it's your time to sleep between the ages. Aerith's memories, our memories, we came to tell you. Our memories, come planet, show us your answer. And Sephiroth to the settling of everything. Like I said a few times, you could read this shit, but saying it out loud is a whole different story. Yo, is there a Sephiroth head on top of a Sephiroth head? Is this safer Sephiroth? It's safer Sephiroth, yep. I think it's supposed to be Seraph. He's safer than usual. There it is! Yes! Alright, check this attack out. This is one of my favorite attacks in any video game. RPG. Well, me, RPG. We're back in space, guys. There's a meteor. There's the Milky Way. I'll tell you how I know it's the Milky Way. You'll see in a second. Okay, well, Pluto's red, but now it's fucking gone. Wait, what about Neptune and Uranus? Doesn't matter. Fucking destroy the whole... <laughs> destroy the rings of Saturn. Gas giant Jupiter. How about make a gas giant fucking hole through it. <laughs> the astro- the, the meteor goes into the sun and then starts destroying the planets in our solar system. Which leads me to believe that Final Fantasy VII takes place right here on our own planet, Earth.
JRPG opulence at its very, very most opulent. There's no coming back from this one. There is no reset switch. You guys want one more Unger for old time's sake? You guys, can you feel the Unger? One more Unger, guys. The final Unger. And it's a shitty one, but who cares? Yeah, he, he, I love that Sephiroth decided to fucking blow up the entire solar system just to get his revenge on three people. Three human beings. That's fine. And I like how Square gave no fucks about using the actual solar system in relation to a completely unrelated planet that is definitely not Earth. Doesn't matter. Mars, Neptune, and Uranus are still very, very fine. Especially Uranus. Fucking proud of yourself, Sephiroth. You destroyed a good chunk of our fucking solar system. So is this cloud spirit, or is is this like actual cloud? This is man on man. No shirt, Sephiroth. Sexy Sephiroth. Verse cloud with a limit break. Wait a minute, really? Oh, that is the most anticlimactic thing ever. Uh, normally, you're supposed to use Omni Slash on him. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> It was the early days of 3D cutscenes and modeling and stuff. It was really fucking impressive when we first saw this. Where is everyone? They all seem to be safe too, except for Yuffie and Vincent who are not in this cutscene because they're optional characters. But now what are we gonna do? Holy should be moving soon. Oh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now. I'm sorry that we didn't do Omni Slash. I will check a video of it. That's like some serious, like fucking cock block blue ball shit. Hey, I wanted to see what would happen. Shit. Meteor is is closing in on Midgar. Fiery magical tornadoes are destroying the towns. Quick play the song of time. Link. Link, we need you. The fucking high wind is so badass at the end. Wait a damn minute. What's gonna happen to Midgar? Can't let that happen. I had everyone take refuge in the slums. The way things are now... It's too late for Holy. Meteor is approaching the planet. Holy is having the opposite effect. Forget Midgar. We've got to worry about the planet. Well, time to go to space. Do we have a spaceship now? Because we can get the fuck off this planet. Okay, yeah, the, the, the MIDI is strong with this ending. 
Vine sauce is coming to save the planet, guys. Look. It is actual vine sauce. Sentient living, swimming through the air, ready to save the chillins and the planet. We got you. Vine sauce is coming. And so am I. A lot of the game is still good and holds up and some of it feels pretty dated and I gotta say this ending it's just like all right it's kind of sweet because it, it was Aerith all along that saved the planet Aerith made the ultimate sacrifice she sacrificed her life so that she could stop the comet that was the tits so I really I enjoy the game. I had a lot of fun playing it. There were times where I was really enjoying it, and there were times where it felt a bit boring, as these games tend to feel sometimes. I love the music still to this day. I still love some of the characters. I love the world. Even the materia and battle system, still pretty good. So I eagerly anticipate this remake, which doesn't even feel real. This is my friend Mike. You guys know Mike. He calls this one of the biggest cock blocks, cock teases bullshit, nonsense endings of all time. This right here. Midgar. I also want to say one more thing. Rest in peace, Pluto. You will be missed. You had just recently become a planet again, and then Sephiroth destroyed you. Here's safe for Sephiroth, guys. He's got um, knee pads, a helmet, big mitts, and he's wrapped in bubble wrap. So safe for Sephiroth cannot get hurt.